Welcome to Trivia Night, everybody. Hey, brother. For you hey, long brother. fans out there, yeah, and nobody, nobody's on your side. Hey, brother. That was terrible. <laughs> I'm not even gonna give that one. Hold on. <laughs> hey, brother. There hey, you go. Hey, brother. That's a little more. It's a little more. Uh, to the point, a little bit Sounds more a little better. Point. Guys, we are so sorry that we're late. Jay was late, actually. For the, I, I would say for the first time in the history of our brotherhood. My goodness, the, the, the drive from my, I never make the drive from my house to the office at this time of day, and I cannot oh. believe how many stoplights I hit. Oh, like, interesting. all of them. All and of them. And they were all like, oh man, it was horribly blah, blah. So, my ba it's my fault that we're a little bit late, but that's okay, we got... Plenty of trivia. What, what do you have? A 50 question quiz? 50 question at quiz you guys coming at you today. Um, a couple of the things that we learned from last week's stream as we go into the Kahoot, which I think we're going to yes. start in about 15, 20 minutes ish. Uh, thing number one is that to try to prevent bots, we are going to read you guys out the code. Yes. Um, so be sure, like, we'll make a big fuss about it before we do it. But, yeah. So, so we're going to read it out loud, say it aloud, rather right. than show you guys at first to try mm -hmm. to allow, allow everybody in. Also, we are capped at 2,000 people who can actually come in and play yes. inside of the game. Yeah. Um, so be sure that if you really want to play, that you get in there just as soon right as possible. away. Yes. Yeah, because we it's showing that we have about 6,200 concurrent viewers, and we the the app that we have can only host 2,000 people. So not we are aware that not everyone's going to get in, which is a real bummer. However... Uh, it doesn't mean you still can't just play along at home and answer the trivia on your own, and hopefully you'll still have fun. So yeah, I think yeah. that I think that, and we're yes. what we're gonna do is uh, first place tonight is going to get a complete set of our new animal foil T-shirts. Yeah, yeah. So you will get all four of those, which are also still available right now if you guys haven't bought one yet and you've been interested. Uh, I think we're in the second wave of pre-order at this point. Yes, we are. With the first one having ended last Saturday. Yeah. Those will be shipping the first week of June, in case you're wondering uh, that like it feels like it's taking too long. Um, the places second, third, fourth, and fifth will also get a shirt of their choosing. There you go. Yeah. So, so and, and we'll ship worldwide, so wherever you guys are. Yes. Um, and we we'll are aware also that Kahoot is not a totally perfect system um, and that some people are going to experience some lag and then that does affect the points and stuff like that. Really, I want you to think about it like there will be a winner. It's almost more like a, it, you'll have to probably get all of them right anyway. So I hope it doesn't like feel unfair i know i know I, like there's not there's nothing we could do about it yeah there's there's a little bit of the issue between um the lag and i think what we were finding and some people said that it doesn't hold up for very long is the using two times speed mm -hmm. should continuously get you kind of back to it okay. but you might have to do it over and over again because right. you'll catch up and then it'll stop doing two times speed because yeah. you can't speed up live right so um, yeah, yeah if you if you use the the two times speed functionality on youtube you should be able to catch right up to the most recent like at to as live as possible there's instructions for how to do that in the description of this video yes exactly so, exactly if you don't already know Oh my gosh. So quick shout outs to Ashley Holler, who's a new member, Write Me Poetry, Lindsay Keeter, uh, Bethany Taylor with a $5 super chat, Jay versus Ben Idea. Tyler reads the quote from the book. You must guess who said it, what book, and what the situation was. Oh, I love it, Bethany I like Taylor. It. I like it. Because I feel like the the more and more and more that I've read the books, the more I think I could do this. I am positive. Yeah, this one would be fun. I think we could do it. it I would think be we could do it. It would be challenging, but also like doable it's, yeah it's that right level it's that right level so great idea bethany taylor jeremy watson is a new member thank you so much jeremy joshua mondragon i hope that's your real last name hey brother no question just want to say huge thank you for everything y'all do has made my first deployment oh. so much more bearable oh awesome. my gosh joshua absolutely thank you so much for that super chat uh shout out to steph m and kara birch who are both new members irish royalty with a 25 dollars super chat saying Hey, you got, have you guys ever listened to the house playlists from Kiwi, Kiwi Mango. Mango 9 on Spotify? They have four playlists, one for each house, and I absolutely love the Slytherin oh, one. I've never even thought to do, like, house-themed music. What a ridiculously mm. cool thing. Okay, not. now I really want to know what I Slytherin know. music is like. That, me too. What would it be like? I imagine the, only, the most Slytherin music I could think of is that, like, Dark Lord Funk parody song of Uptown Funk, where Voldemort is singing. I have a feeling it's not that. I have a feeling it's not that, <laughs> but that is that is Voldemort uh, doing doing a doing a tune. There doing you a go. Diddy. 
Okay, um, up next we gotta thank Charlie and Kayla Walsh who are new members. Uh, $5 super chat from Matt, uh, Matteo who says, Hey brother, nice short. love the enunciation. Nice really good. Uh, just had an appendectomy, so oh, glad no. to be spending my recovery with you guys. Our little brother Tyler, I remember when he had appendicitis and I was so terrified for him. So it Tyler had like the worst two weeks of medical luck in history where I think he had kidney stones followed immediately by an appendicitis in completely unrelated fashion. Right, yeah, he just yeah. happened to have both. Just happened to have both in like consecutive weeks. It yeah. was like, what is happening to you? This always happened to him. I think he also got stitches in his foot once and then promptly broke his finger mm -hmm. on the, remember the basketball hoop we had in our yard that yes. was like lowered and he went up and dunked it and then and it then tipped it, backwards. Then it tipped back. Ooh. I do remember Ooh. that. The worst. Poor Ty. Poor okay. Tyler. Um, Matty du Duvu? Du hmm. I love your last name is what I'm going to go with from now on when I can't Matty pronounce Duvu. something. Matty Duvu. Duvu. So glad you came up with the idea of doing a live stream trivia. This is the best idea yet. Hope you guys are having Thank a you. good week. It has been a fantastic week. You know, my spirits literally have gone up so much since doing Dumbledore's Big Plan. Dude, I've been loving Dumbledore's Big Plan. And, oh man, we had a really fun, I'll give you guys a quick preview of the next, the next video. Uh -oh. Just for joining uh -oh. us live. It involves my brand new, um, quarantine mask. Are you ready? This is what you have to look forward to. Oh this boy. A little bit of, uh, this action right here. This is half of it. Oh, hello there. Oh my gosh. Hi. This is, I have, we have like a whole thing. A whole thing. It happens to still be here on the set, so. If, if you guys want the most deep cut Super Carlin Brothers content that there is, mm. once upon a time we made a, a one episode series on Amino. Amino, Amino apps. The Amino apps. You search Super Carlin Brothers. I believe we are, it's like the only thing we're verified on other than is YouTube. Is Amino. Is Amino. <laughs> uh, but Jay has an entire skit in the Dumbledore get up, which is hilarious. Wow. It's the Council of Dumbledores. So yeah, if you guys want to check that out. Anyway, I'm going to take um, this off. Just let's see here. Whoop. Uh, Acid Roof Production says, How old is Nicholas Flamel? The book, they reference it in Philosopher's Stone, said he was 665 last year, but the book is also very old. So how old was he? That's an interesting one. I, as part of Dumbledore's big plan, I had heard one of the thoughts being that Nicholas Flamel had come to the conclusion that he w was prepared to die anyway. We, yeah, we put that in our... Okay, in, okay. In our, I wasn't yeah. sure if it made it the final cut. Um, but, oh, maybe this is what we didn't include. Is that 666 would be like the age he was attempting to avoid. Oh, that's so, interesting. Yeah, so he like, he like, was like 665, perfect number for me. Don't need to go any further. I'm out. Yeah, okay. El Oops, I did the thing. Oh, see, oh, not so easy. I know, I know. Okay, Elvish Presley says it's pretty obvious, <laughs> pretty obvious. that Ben should play Namor. I'm it so glad that obvious. every single week someone has said Everyone, this exact message. We're putting it out into the world. We're putting it out into the world. So there yeah, that's what's gonna happen is Former Namor actor Ben Carlin and his brother, the other host, Jay Carlin, now writing the founder series for HBO Max. There we go. That's the whole, that's the headline. <laughs> yeah, I, I write headlines in my head about myself constantly. Uh, yeah. That's like the, like whenever I'm out in the woods and it's like just me by myself, it's like YouTuber dies in woods because it's a <laughs> rampant squirrel attack. Rampant squash. <laughs> Okay. Uh, Stacy Brott, thank you for becoming a new Stacey. member. Uh, Caleb Dalby with a super chat says, what about disabling comments and only scoring on accuracy and not speed? Boy, you might be speaking about more settings in Kahoot than I know how to work the buttons. If this continues to be popular, we will continue to do it. We will continue so, to troubleshoot ways. Yes, yeah. yes. This is, yeah. Uh, super chat from Stacy Brott that says, listen to the pop and after the final, just before the live stream, as always, great episode. So excited for the Kahoot trivia Woo. night. Also watched all four Dumbledore's Big Play episodes today. Oh man, you've had a real Harry Potter day, Stacy. That's a big time Harry Potter oh gosh. day. We got a shout outs to, what is this? Thortron, Tar TV, Maggie Mason, Jubal Card, Samantha Brisbane, and Megan Ferris, all brand new members. Thank you so much Look to all of you Look at that lovely narwhal in disguise little emoji you get when you become a member. <laughs> narwhal in disguise. If it we is need, a narwhal. I we don't need know. a theme song for narwhal in disguise. Yeah. I like that. That would be really fun. He needs, uh, a, he needs a name. 
I, I a, love the narwhal uh, detective uh, thing. Was not narwhal clear detective. whether or not you were a narwhal detective or if it was a narwhal that is a detective. It's, I don't see why it can't be both. It can be both. It's like you have some guy on the surface who's not even sure if narwhals are real, and then below you have very real narwhal solving crimes. Love it. And it's love like it. it's like ah real monsters where the one guy's like monsters are real, and they keep like they also have to avoid discovery to the real world or something. I love the story. I'm just this is a great. I love it. Yeah. Mm, it's yeah. a mystery. It and like literally, I think we could do it like in the. Uh, uh, what is it? Claymation and L for his like. Uh, yeah. Bye, Bye, buddy. Hope, hope you find your dad. dad. <laughs> uh, Maddie right. Cody says, "Just wanted to say you're amazing and funny." Thank you're you, You're amazing Maddie Cody. and funny, Maddie Cody. I was gonna say the same thing. Yeah, it's well, like I'm whenever you get first. chatting with Maddie Cody, she's just like. <laughs> it's just such a laugh. <laughs> what a zinger. Uh, Marianne Malm, thank you for the super chat. Mike Porter is a new member. Charlie Birch, hello from Ireland. Hello, what? hello to Ireland. Hello to the whole country. We are mostly Irish when it really comes down to it. Yeah, the Carolins. The Carolins. Uh, yeah. I think it we used to be spelled a lot differently. Yeah, yeah. Now <laughs> More it's like Carlin. Carolin. Carolin. Yeah. But now it's Carlin. Carlin. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, Tom Norton, is that like a, like a soft TH? Or, th yeah, I think thong? so. Like yeah. short, like Thomas, but you just kept oh, the H. I see, I see, I see. Yeah. Any thoughts on Harry Dresden and the Dresden Files? Excited for peace talks. I don't know what any of that means. Unfortunately, yeah, I'm right there with you. I'm sorry. Sorry, Tom. <laughs> Tom? Um, Write me poetry. Have you guys read G. Norman Lippert's James Potter series? We have not. It well, sounds I excellent haven't. from what I've heard, though. Oh yeah, it's, yeah. <laughs> rumor on this comment is. <laughs> uh, Holly Ann fifty seven says y'all are the best. Uh, you've made the best few weeks. Uh, oh. the best few weeks, the best. Oh, thanks so much. All right, we're gonna keep answering questions here for another ten minutes, but we're gonna try and start the, the game, the quiz at six thirty. Goodness me, are you excited? I'm, s dude. Yes, I'm, I'm very so excited. excited. It's gonna um, be so fun. I feel like this idea started for me with this jacket. This, you're like, you know what I should do. I was like, I was like, Jay, I need a way to wear this jacket because I bought it and now there's oh. no way to wear it. Right. It's like there are two options for this jacket and one is smoking and one is game show. Exactly. Right. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. you don't smoke. Right. So, <laughs> so, so basically my only other option, my, uh, actually my original vision also had one of those really long microphones that you can like hold like really like at waist height, but it's got like a little tiny, like, you know, we really do need one of we those. We do. We, even if it's just like, like you got, yeah, so you're sitting even worse. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. It's definitely for standing. Anyway. Uh, let's see here. Randy Nee, Michael Hruska, thanks for the New joining. Members. Black Rose of Shadows, Happy Jew. Uh, thank Kip, you also. Kip Spark says, Ben is totally a Hufflepuff and Jay is a Ravenclaw. Mm, I, I, I do think sometimes when I take the quiz that I'm like, I always feel like I'm one question away from being a Ravenclaw. Like, I, I think it's very close. I do feel like, yeah, you've, you've got a bit of that inside of you where you're like particularly, um, it's like, it's not even that you're studious. It's just I do think that your brain is particularly good at holding information. Maybe. Um, the thing is, I don't I don't ever like feel like a Ravenclaw. Like I feel like if I like personally, I feel like if I wasn't in Slytherin, I would be like a Gryffindor, but I think that's probably third on the list of okay. actually where the hat would put me. Do you think that as a Slytherin you should know the answer to the question what would you do with a million dollars? Uh, I mean, I feel like, yes. yes. Why, wait, why is it a Slytherin thing to because, know what you would do? Because, because I feel like the way that the different houses would receive a million dollars is very representative of their specific things. So like Hufflepuffs, I think would like give back. Yeah. Like they would be like, what are all I, the charities? I do have an answer for you. <laughs> you okay. Well, hold on. <laughs> so, um, let's see here. I feel like. What would Ravenclaws do with it? Like invest in more knowledge? They would probably like seek further education. See, I feel like my answer is probably more the Ravenclaw answer because I feel like what Ravenclaws would probably just debt free. Debt free. Okay, debt -free, very where like Slytherins would be like invest. Right, right, right. right. So Slyth and I was gonna say because yeah. I feel like a Slytherin would want to make to attempt to, to turn the million dollars into more money into more. <laughs> and the Gryffindors are just like spend it. <laughs> We're throwing a party, y'all. <laughs> Uh, my answer it. would be immediately pay off my mortgage and debt free though. That would okay. be what I did. Yeah. Uh, your yeah, head cam. So I'm sorry. Jay, Jay I, I'm sorry I gave you the raven. Maybe maybe I'm wrong though because if that's what I would do and I'm Slytherin, maybe that is what Slytherin would do. There you go. Uh, Lamp Crow says, "Congrats, Ben, on adopting Chewy, a dad already." 
Oh, Boom. Chewie is adorable. It's actually his fifth dog. So yeah, so there's quite a few. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Bernardo Cardoso says, hey, brother from Portugal. Portugal! Hope everything is good. It's Hello to all of Portugal. Going really swell so far. Going really swell. Uh, Lily. Oh, no. Oh, did you do the thing? No, no I you actually, did. You're I, stayed, good. I stayed put. Yes. Hi from Germany. Hi from Germany. Hello to Germany. Christopher Ray says, these chats are amazing. Been amazing. excited all week. I have also been excited all week. This is like... Uh, so much of what we do is fun anyway, but these are like a blast. Yes. It's it's a hoot and holler. You know, time. we should maybe announce what the code is so oh. people have time. We're seven minutes away, but get ready. We are going to, I'm just going to give you, give you a second if you need to like write it down or something or prepare it on your phone. We're going to give you the seven digit code to join our Kahoot game. Okay. Is everyone ready? Are we good? Just so pull it up, everyone's ready. Hold on, let me take a let me take a quality let slurp. Let me take a slurp, and I'll, then I, know, and I mean, then I will announce the code. I want everyone to be ready, so that they don't feel like they got they missed it. Okay, ready? Here comes the code. Three, one, zero, eight, one, nine, one. Man, that was such a game show there voice. Now let's see how fast people come. Here they come. Here they come. Here they come. All right, I'm gonna say it again. Three, one. Zero, eight, one, nine, one. Bam. Bam. There you go. It has been said out loud. We will put it on the screen eventually, but we have been told that putting it, uh, like the way the bots get in is by like scanning the screens and or else um, having it appear in text somewhere. So we're trying to avoid that by saying it out loud this way first. We're already at 700 players. So if you're not in yet, you, you have time, but it is going very fast. All right, I'm gonna say it one more time. Three, one, zero, eight, one, nine, one. There it is. Ba Boom! Here we go. We are at 1,100 players so far. People this going, seems to be going, working, as it far does. as I can see on my end. It, I'm not seeing like bots rolling I, in or anything. I don't, yeah, looks looks pretty good. Here we go. We are five, six minutes out. Six minutes out. Here we go. Let's uh, let me. See if I can get a couple more of these super chats in yeah. while people are filing in. And if you if you did like a super chat or something, and we start the game before we get to you, we'll try and get back to as many of them as possible after the fact as well. Absolutely, and yeah, so, thank you guys so much yeah, for so your insane generosity. Really, absolutely, it's, yeah. it's been incredible. Uh, Christopher, oh, let's see here. Miss Positivity is a new member. Uh, Fever two eight nine says, please shout out to Georgina staying up in the UK. Well, hey Georgina. I know for you folks in the UK right now that it is late, so thank you guys so much. Or, or whatever time zone you're in for being here. Oh boy, hang on a second. Um, Burkus says, I bought the two thousand two Lego Harry Potter Dueling Club set on eBay just for the Lockhart minifigure. Pretty obvious. <laughs> Pretty obvious indeed. Nothing has ever made more sense to me, Burkus. I know. Very good purchase. All right, it looks like we've capped at about nine nineteen hundred twelve. I'm not sure if that's because people are like leaving now. But if you have, if you're not in, you want to get in. You might want to try again. There's about a hundred spots left. It is three one zero eight one nine one. There we go. I hope you got in. I think, it, yeah, I wonder if it's, I wonder if it's buffing. Yeah, it might be like, spit. it might be banning bots or something. People might be leaving. I don't know. About, about 100 spots left. Is anybody getting any type of indication on your side as to why or why not you might be able to join? Oh, we do have text from Jordan. Oh, okay. Uh, someone says, oh. love your watch. Is it Vincero? Oh, it is Vincero. Mine's it is. Vincero as Mine well. Mine too, yeah. Boom. Um, <laughs> Not just the brand new, we actually wear them. <laughs> Vincero, I feel like, has become like a, a strange part of like our brand in such an unusual way. I never would have expected it to be like that that for like a watch brand to be the brand that like really stuck. I know, but they yeah. have like I, I know the guy who owns it now, and like we're yeah. just like buds. There you go. <laughs> so it's it's worked out incredibly <laughs> it well. Has. Um, let's see here. So Randy Nee says, thank you guys so much for all you do. Team Ben forever. Thank you, Randy. I do appreciate it. I need as much support as I can possibly get. Uh, Deadly Boltage. That is just a cool freaking name. Jaber Spin Idea. If uh, one of you want, to want the multiple choice and the other doesn't, the person who gets it gets one point. And if they are right, lose one. If wrong, person who doesn't want it gets two points if they get it right. Mm, oh, so interesting. Like, in, in, like injecting some game mechanics. Some that'd be, it'd be so difficult to only give it to one person. 
Well, I think you'd have to lock your answer. Oh, like, oh, this person, you can't change it. You can't change now it. Now give it to the other person. Yes. Yeah, uh, yeah. I see. Ooh. I, yeah. That's, I think it's doable. It's that's, doable. That's not terribly difficult. Yeah. I really want to figure out how to work an immunity idol in. <laughs> what is it? Like, we need, like, lifelines, maybe. Maybe a lifeline. Maybe a yeah. lifeline. Mm -hmm. Um... Let's see here. Uh, Z Music Man Thirty Nine says, "My friend is the Dark Lord in Dark Lord Funk. Also, you guys are what? amazing and love all of your content, especially the pop." Your friend is the Dark Lord. That guy can dance, dude. Your that friend dude. Z Music Man Thirty Nine. That guy's got some skills. Or your friend then. I mean, Eric I'm Carr sure says, "You're a very good dancer too." <laughs> Eric Carr says, "You guys looking dapper? Well, Thank you." You, you know. know how to. When you're hosting a game show, well, you know, as yeah. it were. Uh, a Fostered Heart says, If Moaning Myrtle was killed when viewing the Basilisk through her glasses, why did Colin Creevy not die when viewing the Basilisk through the camera? Oh, I've wondered this exact thing. I, I feel like the amount of lens difference is significant enough that well, that has to be the explanation. So the way cameras work is that you're not looking straight through the lens. Like, you're looking right, right here, and then the lens is down here. So right. there's obviously... A mirror. It's, there, yeah, there are mirrors involved in cameras. Which so, is no different than what Hermione does. Yeah, which is no different. Than, so that's... That's my answer for you. Yeah. Uh, ZB6982 said, one of the share forgot to turn my mic off during my Zoom meeting and opened your new vid. Everyone at work got to hear your hey brother. Awesome. That is outstanding. Excellent. Oh my God, how funny. All okay. right, two minutes out, people. Two minutes out. Let's Again, start getting, let's let's put the, the thing on the screen here. Yep, hang on one segundo. There we're going to go over gonna here. Go to Boom. Oh wait, we're not on. Oh, hey. You're right. We got to just move our... Uh, Video capture up higher, I think. That's what we should have to do. Hang on a second. That's all right. We'll figure it out. Mm, that's weird. I wonder if that'll injector. No, maybe. Do now. Okay, if you move the screen around, are we? We're just not there at all. So we need to like add it. Oh. Wait, was that it? Temporarily? What? Were we briefly on there? Were we bri Oh, yeah, look at this. We're figuring <laughs> stuff out. We can watch what happened. No, I don't think that was. Watch on the fly. Okay. Um, so maybe just add in. Just all together. Just all video. Right, all right. There we go. We're, we're just, you know, streaming on the fly here. Device, HG Pro webcam. Okay. Kabam! There we are. There we, we figured are. it out. We're up in the corner. We're up in the corner. Super Beautiful. Dudes. Excellent. Because Excellent. you can't you can't have a good quality uh, mm -hmm. game show without you know. You can't see your hosts, people. You can't see your hosts. All right. All right. All right. So it is six thirty. It is six thirty. So it is, it is time. time to play. All right, guys. We're gonna give you a countdown from 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one. Here we go. Are you ready? 50 questions. Let's put it on the clock, people. We're going to have 60 seconds. What is the Dursley's home address? There you go. Number four, Main Street. Number four, Pruitt Lane. Number four, Privet Drive. Number four, Private Drive. There we go. All right. Look at the answers rolling in. I can one. tell you guys got this. No doubt. Actually, in our, in our test... The people over on our Patreon were able to get like a, 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 a overview of some sample questions. Yeah. This tripped some people up. It a little bit, a little bit. So we we have play tested some of these questions. Don't worry. And you guys have sixty seconds uh, to answer each of the questions as they as they roll in. It here. looks like we are, and we can see both screens. We can see the live view versus also. Wait, wait move that over so we can see this. Okay. Uh, so we can see how much time you have left. We won't uh, move forward until after, obviously, it stopped counting down on your end as well. Don't forget to use that uh, fast forward or double time uh, trick to make sure you are up as up to date as possible on the stream. Boom. There's our answer. Question one is down. The answer is number four. Private Drive. Although, look, we did trip up a good 390 people on the hey, Private hey, Drive. Hey, hey, shout out to hey you guys. All right, and, and who's our like early leader? The, the only acid Oliveira. All right, and Alex M. Was Alex M. on it last week? I think so. Man. I think so. Mary Ann Haley, and T. Lovey, T. Luby, T. Luby. All right, there. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, <coughs> next question. Next question. Where does Harry first meet Draco Malfoy? Is it in the Great Hall, the Hogwarts Express, Madame Malkin's Robe Shop, or the Leaky Cauldron? 
So last week, people said that your inflection dipped a little bit. I've been, it is, I've been thinking about it all week. And I'm like, oh no. Am I going to be giving away the answers by the way? I, I was like, I'm like really trying to just be monotone. But monotone. also in like a fun presenter way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you exactly. Know, the Great Hall. Hogwarts Express. Yeah. No, that's not good. No. You did it better before. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully. Peop this is the kind of thing where I'm like, maybe people are just saying that. Like, maybe if you know the answer, it just sounds It just different. rings. It, it just rings. rings. Yeah. 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 So. Here we go. We got 20 seconds left to answer this question. Oh, boy. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I know. I'm, I'm very anxious to see what the full, how the full hour goes. I want to see I how many people get, like, close to a, a P score. I feel like we'll have at least a few perfect scores. That's the thing, last last week we had like half the people get perfect scores, right? So, all right, there's our answer. Oh man. Honestly, that is way better than I would have thought. I really thought more people would have thought the Hogwarts Express yeah. than the Great Hall. Yep. But man, interesting. The answer is of course, Madame Malkin's Robe Shop. Absolutely. Let's see how everybody did. The oh. only asset Oliveira continues to sit at the top. As is T. Lovey down in that five spot, but second, third, and fourth all change. Rose Granger. Ha. <laughs> huh. All right, here we go. And the entire House of Ravenclaw. Question three, what do the Dursleys get Harry for Christmas in his first year? Oh, now we've really upped the difficulty. <laughs> is it nothing? Is it a tissue, a 50 pence piece, or a toothpick? Here we go. When we do the J-verse bends, whenever it's like, who gave Harry whatever, or what did whoever give Harry during whatever birthday or Christmas, as those are like the hardest. They are, because because the gifts so frequently are like they don't really go on to be significant like right. you know the invisibility cloak of course Huge. you know it's like who's gonna forget that yeah. but you know the broom grooming kit is yeah that, is he that could have gotten that anytime chamber or prisoner right i don't know i think it's chamber i don't know though i no, know it is I prisoner, prisoner because because, it, because he's, he has the he's thinking about it and and we should we should stop talking about so much trivia Maybe it's in there. It's, maybe this, it's, this is like one of those tricks when you're actually taking tests is like, if you don't know, come back later because maybe the test will answer it for you. Right, right. Yeah. Absolutely. All right. Here we go. The Boom. answer. Oh, we tripped up a lot of people on this one. Oh, this is a big miss. Big miss. The answer is a 50 pence piece. Boom. There we okay, go. Let's see how everybody did. The only asset Oliveira stand at the top. Oh my goodness. goodness. Me. Raven Eagle. I love that screen name. Mm. Harry Otter, also amazing. Remove the uh, Raven. Alyssa and LD. LD, all right. All right, guys. Question go. number four. What chess piece does Hermione become on the giant chessboard? Is it a knight, the queen, a bishop, or a rook? See, so I, thought you, I thought you were I even. I thought you were even. I thought I was pretty even, yeah, too. I thought you were even. This one helps because I was like, I was like, if I think about it for a second, I'll remember. I was like, I don't, I'll have to think about it to remember the answer, but I won't think about it until after I say it. Nice. I got it. Nice. Yeah. I got it too. Mm -hmm. I got this one. Yeah. Granted, we wrote it. So. Granted, we wrote it. So that said, not still sure I'm going to get all of them. <laughs> There's Some a, of them are very tricky. I think I think there are three or four where I, I genuinely would be shocked if I know. Yeah. Let's see. Got 20 seconds left on this one. Here Let's we go. Here. Question is, do people even know, how well do people know their chess pieces? True, you know? true. Mm. I, because I do <clears throat> think with enough thought, this one does make sense. Yes. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Or it feels right to me. It feels yeah. right to me. Oh, ho, there we go. Yes, lots of people went for the bishop. Oh, ho, ho. Harry is the bishop. Ron is the knight. Hermione is the rook. I'll be the knight. I'll be, yeah, that's with me. I'll be the knight. I don't know why Ron gets to ride the horse while the other two have to stand there. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's just a movie thing. It might just be a movie thing. Uh-oh, oh! the only acid aloe vera falling off the top of the chart. Alyssa, welcome to the top spot with okay. Braylon Cage, Rogue Raven, and LD. Alrighty guys, question number five. Who doesn't have detention with Harry in the Forbidden Forest in his first year? Is it Hermione, Draco, Neville, or Ron? Ho, 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 ho. This is gonna get some people. Yeah, I think it might, I think <clears throat> it might. We shall see. We shall see. I've been impressed. There's certainly, um, certainly a bunch of people must have a hundred 
But on that last one, like about half were wrong. So. Right, right. <clears throat> Let's see here. Here we go, here we go. Just, so someone says Tyler is a better reader. Well, hey, well, you know. You know, he has a, uh, that's why we have him host. So. Exactly, exactly. exactly. There you go. If you, <laughs> this is, oh, I'm so curious to see how well we've written the quiz. You how know? do you mean? I want, to know, I want to see the stats at the end. Just because where it shows like where people like which ones were really hard and oh stuff yeah like yeah that. yeah no it's good the the How statistics on this will be so much. How fun. many people will get a one hundred Ben? This do you is... think it'll be more than ten? No. Oh okay, no, there I it is. Less than ten so. people getting a one hundred. Oh, we trip. Yeah, we got about we got about fifty percent wrong on this one. There we go. There we go. The answer is Ron. Ronald. Yeah, because Harry and Draco go off with Fang, and that's when Voldemort finds them. There you go. We got some new names on here. We got Rogue Raven, Braylon, Stick Around, uh, Mel Trill. Hopefully, I got that right. GGG and Jedi Wolf. Jedi Wolf. Jedi Wolf. There we go. Sixty All right. players just hit an answer streak of four. Boom. Okay, there we go. Hagrid's baby dragon Norbert is a which of the following breeds? Is it a Swedish short snout, a Chinese fireball, a Norwegian ridgeback, or a Hungarian horntail? <laughs> Someone just said Runa Waslib. Runa Waslib. <laughs> it's one of my favorite gags in the just the whole entire oh my gosh. series. Me, I think yeah. Me and you find it way funnier than most people. Although we were talking to Jordan today, and she said we shouldn't have gotten that right because we both added the D to the end. We did, we so, did. But fortunately, it didn't really affect anything because we. But it wasn't like one of us got it and the other one did. But here we go. Someone says, "Oh my God, I know the answer to all of these questions." For now. Well, good. For now. Good for you. I. It's it's funny watching the chat because I can't tell. I'll 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 save it. I'll save it. You'll save it? I'll save my comment at the moment. <coughs> Runal Waslib. I know what your nickname is, Potter. <laughs> also, just the worst nickname ever, because it's so obviously just Rod. <laughs> oh my gosh. Here we go. The answer is a Norwegian Ridgeback. All right, that was a bit of an easy one. A there lot more of you guys got yeah. that one. Hungarian Horntail would, would be the real. What I was going to say is I can't tell in the comments if people are trolling the wrong answers or if they just don't know. Oh. Or, you know, maybe oh. that maybe I would encourage you in the comments, maybe just troll it up with the wrong answers. Okay. <clears throat> what is the password we hear? What is the first password we hear used to enter into the Gryffindor common room? Is it Balderdash, Pig Snout, Fortuna Major or Caput Draconis. If I can get these words out. This one is. I'm not even sure I know. <laughs> I think I do know, but this is this is a tough one. <clears throat> I think I, I would sure. have a 50-50 shot at it for sure. Yeah. Could you, would you know this one just off the top of your head? If we were doing the J verse then? <clears throat> I know that the answer that I would choose. Yeah, I think so. Okay. I think so. Okay. Here we go. I think now, see now, now I can't tell if you've now, got people. Now I've encouraged people to really be tricky in the, <laughs> in, in the chat. So I have, if people are cheating off of the chat, no more. <laughs> no more. Well, the, and I, that's what I like about the fact that the people who answer quickly is that like there won't have been enough time for the chat to have There revealed. we go. Okay. Oh, more people got this wrong than they got it right. Caput Draconis is the first password. In Cap Harry's first year, Caput Draconis. Yes, I, I always imagine Percy it. saying yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, that's what that's what we get it from me. Yep. Let's see, Xander oh. taking the taking over the leaderboard. GGG, uh, Mel Trill, Timmy Rose, and Declan Math. Declan Math. Everybody uh, doing absolutely spectacular. Question eight: Harry meets three centaurs in the Forbidden Forest: Ferenzi, Bane, and Torvus, Magnus, Magorian, or Ronan. For reference, this is in the first book, in case that... Wasn't clear. Wasn't clear. Yes. Yeah. Because he does go into the forest. forest. And meets him Yeah. Yeah. So, there you go. We That's a poorly worded question on our part. We should have said... Although, I think when we were writing these, we were imagining they would all be... Uh, uh, based on book. Uh, yeah. yeah. I, think, I think we are going in order of book, right? We are going in order so, of book. So, so far, everything has been Philosopher's Stone. Yes. Yeah. There's a, there's a query for you guys. Do you guys say Philosopher's Stone or Sorcerer's Stone? 
have you been converted? Because we were, I feel like we were kind of like Sorcerer's Stone nuts for a long time. We were just like, yeah, America. Right, yeah, exactly. And yeah. then we went to the uh, Harry Potter exhibit in London and we were like, nope. Philosopher's yeah, Stone. It was, that was pretty much my conversion point. I was like, yeah, no, it's uh, it's definitely Philosopher's Stone. <laughs> Sorcerer's Stone is not a thing. Philosopher's Stone is like an actual like, fantasy thing. There you go. All right, and the answer yeah. is Ronin. Ronin. You guys Ooh, did wow. honestly you guys very great. well. Wow. Very well. Wow. I don't know where we came up with Torvus. I don't think that's a real one. I was looking up names of constellations, I believe. Oh, Magnus and Megorian, I think, are other centaurs. Oh, okay, okay, okay. In uh, later books. Let's see here. Mel Sherrill, top spot. Declan Math, GGG, and Jared. So we are oh, starting yeah. to see some of the same names. Here we go, here we go. All right, guys, question nine. In the books, what color is the Weasley's fi flying car described to be? Is it teal, turquoise, violet, or blue? <laughs> yeah, see, this is where it's like, <laughs> Wait a well. minute. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I think we even adjusted the answers on this one. I think it was. It was worse. I think it was worse. It was worse. <laughs> it was worse. Yeah. This must have been. That's, that's funny. But, okay. All right. So, as you can tell, we have moved into uh, Chamber of Secrets questions. So, the next few questions will all be from book two. Also, I don't know if we've said this yet. All of the questions are book specific, not not movie specific. That that should be yeah probably made clear. Although yeah. I, I feel like it's kind of the general uh, yeah. vibe that we always yes reject. I will, I will also say everything is only from the books. We don't have like Pottermore questions True. or anything on here. True. I think I don't even think we have like expanded universe books. It's just the core seven. <clears throat> All right, let's see how we did. Let's see how we did. <clears throat> Boom! Wow, there look at we this. go. Look okay. at this. Okay. All right, turquoise. You guys mostly got it right. I think at first we had it as like teal, turquoise, aquamarine, and like something else of yeah. the exact same color. The, the, the latest pass through, and the reason that this question is in here is because I read turquoise and for some reason saw violet, and I'm like, it's so weird they would have changed it to be like a bluish color in the movies, like when it was so obviously purple. Oh. <laughs> and so, anyway, no, nobody else thought that because violet was the least chose one. Oh. Uh, Timmy Rose Timmy taking Rose over. Timmy Rose moving up to that top spot. Here we go. What is the last name of the family Vernon Dursley is trying to sell drills to in Chamber of Secrets? Is it Fletcher, Mason, Pruitt, or Montague? Mmm. I know this one. Mm. I, know I know it too. One. I know yeah. it too. Yeah. Yeah. This is a. Uh... Oh boy. This is like a really non-important family. <laughs> <laughs> right. I know. Really unimportant know. to the plot. What is it? Is there anything about the fact that he sells drills specifically that is like remotely relevant to anything? <gasps> I don't know. I think it probably just speaks like more to his personality. Like maybe he just like bores into things or. Okay. 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 Maybe, are drills particularly non-magical, maybe? I mean, it is like a specific muggle tool, but I don't yeah. think there's anything wrong with that. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Grunnings. Grunnings. Someone says Carlin. Someone <laughs> says uh, it's a bit laggy. If you're, I mean, that might be on your end. Um, we have it set to ultra low latency here to try and avoid that. Don't forget, you can use that uh, two times speed feature to try and catch up to the live. Let's see how you guys did. Yes. Boom. A Hello. A resounding Mason. Oh, what were you going to oh, say? Yeah, I got I think one of the stupidest parts in the books is when Dudley's like, Hello, Mr. Mason. And he's like, oh, I had to write an essay about one of my heroes and I chose you. And it's like, you've never even met him. Yeah, it doesn't oh, sound like. I know, I know. It, that, it, that's the type of thing where if I was walking to someone's house and I said that, I'd be like, <laughs> I'd be like, all right. Um, mm -hmm. I'm calling Bull Snot. Bull Snot. Timmy Rose, Indeed. congratulations, sitting on the top. Uh, what is the name of the ghost that refuses nearly headless Nick's entry to the headless hunt? Ooh. Is it Sir Godfrey the Grey, Lord Draben, Sir Patrick Delaney Podmore, or Cuthbert Binns? <laughs> ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. Um, tricky question. Tricky question. Also a character who has no bearing on the plot. <laughs> well, no, not really, no. Here we so go. someone says, I bet five bucks Dudley, Dudley never wrote the essay. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Like, Calling you out. Can I read it? Right, I know. From Mr. Mason? Really? <laughs> do, do you have it here now? Uh, yeah, right. He didn't write that essay. But it's not even like they tell him to say it. He's like, how about 
Like, he comes up with it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, they, oh, and the fact that and they then, rehearse it. Yeah. Mm. I'll be in my bedroom, making no noise at all and pretending I don't exist. <laughs> Happy birthday, Harry. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Harry. Uh... Fortunately, oh, Dobby comes to his rescue. All right, guys, let's see how you did to this one. Uh, really well, honestly. Wow, Sir Patrick Delaney Podmore. So the the one that was obviously meant to be a little bit tricky there is the one that seems to have tripped people up. So uh, but very well done. Over a thousand people got that correct. There we go. See. Not a single change Whoa. on the leaderboard. Timmy Rose, Declan Math, GGG, B Style, B Slights, and KMT. We did not fool you at all, it seems. Man, oh, mayonnaise. Okay. Oh, go ahead. Oh, sorry. Which of the following does Neville not purchase to ward off being attacked by Slytherin's monster? Is it a rotting newt tail, a long cracked bicorn horn, a large evil smelling green onion, or a pointed purple crystal? This was mm. one that I you, I locked you this know in. It. I lo I was right. like, no. So I Neville purchases three of these things. He does. Right. He does. Yes. Indeed. In chamber. If this was if this was us doing a quiz, this would be the moment where we'd be like, does not. Does yeah. Does not. not does not purchase. Right. The we, ward off being attacked. We Wait. always we always need to ask Scott to start putting a counter for the number of times we ask for clarification on the yeah. question after we've been asked because it's a lot. It's frequent. <laughs> Someone said blue. Oh, sorry. I was never mind. I thought that was a joke about the car. Never oh. mind. It's not blue. Is a, an acceptable. Potential answer, <laughs> as there are four colors. As there are four there colors. There we go. Seven Juice says, no idea. No idea. Oh, man. Let's see. The answer is the long cracked bicorn horn. Oh, man. Uh, guys, I'm sorry. That was my question, I, and I'm proud of it. <laughs> yes, that's a good one. Yeah. Although, I think I came up with long cracked bicorn horn. The, uh, you may have. You may have. Yes, yeah. yes. Pretty happy with that answer. Sounds so real, doesn't it? It does. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Declan Math takes over GGG, uh, Rachel Claw. There have been a bunch of fun Rachel, or not Rachel, uh, Ravenclaw based uh, puns that have been in the top thing there. There have been. It, it seems to me at this point in the quiz, the leaders will need to miss the question to fall off. I think so. I, I think, think so. so. Okay. That's where we are. What potion do Harry, Ron, and Hermione brew in the girls' bathroom? Is it Veritaserum? Is it Polyjuice Potion? Amortentia or Felix Felicis. Oh boy. This one feels It feels easier. It I'll just say easier. it. it I'll just say yeah, it. Just gonna say it out loud. I'm just gonna say it out loud. It feels easier. Yeah, yeah. But I bet we don't have a hundred percent accuracy. It would be remarkable. That would be cool. Yeah, will we get any hundred percent accurate to have, answer, answered questions? To have approximately nineteen hundred people get it simultaneously correct. That would be impressive. It would be impressive. That would be impressive. Yeah. I think short of being like, what is Harry's last name? Would we, uh... Even even that seems like, is this a trick? Is it a trick? It's so easy as to be a trick. It must be. Or just for someone to accidentally press the wrong button. That, yeah, that you can't you can't avoid user input error. Yeah. Right, right. Exactly. All right, guys. Seven, go. six, five. There we go. Someone says the draft of living death. Not really an option, <laughs> but here we go. What is our answer? Yes, it is Polyjuice wow, Potion. Wow, that is very that is, close to 100%. Close. I'm gonna put that 100% out of user input error. I don't think anyone would have really gone didn't know. Right, okay, okay. Yeah. Wow. Very well done, so Probably I bet we don't close. see a significant. Oh, oh Xander, okay. Oh, they, they just switched places though. Okay, okay. Yeah. Same Let's, top five. There you go. All right, what is Tom Riddle's middle name? Is it Varmolo? Morag, Marvolo, or Moldevort. <laughs> oh, okay, I'll just tell you, it's not Moldevort. <laughs> I'll just tell you. That's a freebie. It's a freebie. That's a freebie. You got a 33% chance. <laughs> it's been a while since we wrote this quiz. <laughs> that made me laugh. As I was reading it, I was like, oh no, certainly we put a bunch of nonsense words here that right. I'm not going to be able to read. <clears throat> oh boy. <laughs> I love that. Moldevort. Moldevort. Here we go. Let's see how many people still put in Maldivort. I bet it's, I'm gonna wager seven. Seven? Okay. Seven, seven right. say Maldivort. Unless there's a bunch of people who do it just because they think it's hilarious. That's true, that's true. So, if someone says Maldivort, I can't. <laughs> uh, there were a few where we made like yeah, some pretty some pretty solid jokes in the answers. Yeah, yeah. There's some good, some subtle references. Yeah. 
three, two, one. Let's see how you guys did. How many people got the correct answer of Moldavort 20? <laughs> it is uh, not Moldavort. It is, of course, Marvolo. Marvolo. Yes. Very nice. Although Very we took nice. a few people with Varmolo, maybe. They, well, yeah, more, than, more than anything else. Yeah. Let's see how oh. we did here. Okay, oh. so it's like a battle for that, th like fourth, fifth spot mm -hmm. right now. There we go. All right. What is Aragog's wife's name? Is it Mosog, Anasi, Shelob, or Goma? Oh boy. Oh boy. Here we go. Oh man. For all of the proverbial marbles. Indeed, indeed. All of the keeps. All the keeps. Which is a joke exactly maybe two people listening get. Some, someone said it's Maldivort. Maldivort <laughs> yeah. in French, though. Ah. There we go. I'm curious to see how people do on this, because this has been a quiz <coughs> question on more than one occasion. Yeah, I think so. So if you're like an avid viewer of the quiz, that's the thing, if you watch some of our quizzes, you probably picked up some other trivia yourself. Right. This also, yeah. this this particular question also has another Easter egg in the answers. Yeah. It does. It does. So there's that. Here we go. Uh, yeah, how, I think a lot of people, I don't know. I, I, was, I, should, I should save my commentary until the answers are revealed. I know, I know. I, I feel like I want to, I want to, I want to like, I want to like tell the fun things, but... Here we go. Let's All right, let's see how, see you, how guys you guys did. did. Oh my, I cannot believe so That's, many people. That is resounding. Wow. So the other three are all other large, famous female spiders. Um, Shalob is from Lord of the Rings, I believe. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah that's the one that's up on the on the Mordor Mountain right yeah. between. So maybe that's the giveaway. Maybe it was process of elimination. Maybe, maybe. There we go. Okay, uh, wow. no change, I don't think. All right. Let's continue onward. Okay, so we've moved on to the Prisoner of Azkaban now. Aunt Blank has a lively visit at the Dursleys during the opening chapters of Prisoner of Azkaban. Is it Marge, Marlene, Marietta, or Muriel? I see we'll what we've see. done here. I see what we've done here, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll give you a hint. It starts with M. Oh! Hey! You, hey, so, you hey. would make, honestly, such a good game show host. That's such a thing they would say. I know. They'd be like, I'm oh, <laughs> in the audience. I will give you a hint. And everybody, everyone else is, like, laughing. Yeah, the guy's like, that's not helpful. I thought you were going to be not my friend. You seem so friendly and well-dressed, but gosh. Right, right. Yeah. I feel like all, like, talk show hosts at night have, like, that one person that they throw to that just sort of, like, helps, like, egg on the jokes. Yes, yes. There's just such a formula for, like, late-night shows. Right. Certainly, like... One show must have been spearheading a bunch of it, and the other others are all obviously just copying. And they're just like, well, we gotta do that. Yeah. That's such a good idea. Exactly. I feel like once Jimmy Fallon started doing all, like, the games with celebrities, it's just like, yeah, that's just what we all do now. That's the new it's formula. It's just games with celebrities. Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys, how did you do? Did we trick mm -hmm. you with no, Muriel? We didn't. We didn't at no. all. No. Aunt Marge. Yeah, of course it, it you is. Guys are, you guys are tough cookies. Let's wait a minute. Let's wait. A, let's make sure we're all caught up here. Oh, man. Someone says don't put answers in the chat. Here's the thing. You can't trust the chat. They're trolling, man. They are. They're they trolling. Are. They might know the right answer. They might not. Maybe they're actually wrong. Maybe they're intentionally wrong. I've seen a lot of wrong answers in there, too. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Qu question number 17. What memory does Harry first try to use when casting a Patronus in Lupin's office? Is it riding a broomstick, Ron and Hermione seeing his parents in the Mirror of Erised, Gryffindor winning the House Cup? Ho, 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 ho. It's very tricky. It is very tricky. A tricky question. This would be this. I think this requires a certain amount of uh, careful attention being paid. Mm. Although this is the thing that that like blows me away is that we read the book so carefully in part because like of what we do yeah. and how we like deliver it to the world. But it kind of blows my mind. There's so many people out there that that's just. They the, just know. Like the way that they do it. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, man, I'm impressed. Yeah. It is also possible that a lot of the people here are just big time Harry Potter trivia like attendees. Yes, yeah, so that's or true. Anything, that's you know, true as might, well. Might be like a real hobby. I think probably any like random selection of ten people from the current people who are here would be an awesome trivia team for any Harry Potter trivia event. Oh, for sure, for sure. These are the people you come we to the want. right place. That's right. Oh man. Would you ever consider a meet and greet in North Carolina? We Certainly. would consider it. We're okay, riding a broomstick riding a is broomstick. correct. He you guys did it. a great job. Bravo. All right. Here let's see go. if there's any change up. 
A oh, little bit. a little bit of Jackson cracking your way into the top five with White Squirrel. White Squirrel new to the conversation. Here we go. All right, Noel guys. G making a comeback with three in a row. Maybe we'll see Noel G in the top five here. I wish we could see further. I know, me too. Further me too. than uh, five. All here right, we let's go. see here. Hey, Samantha. Soprano. Soprano, thank you for being a new member. Thank you. What spell is used to open the hump of the one-eyed witch? Is it Revelio, Descendium, Alohomora, or Descendo? Ooh. This is a, boy. It's this a carefully is a, crafted one. I know, it question. is another carefully crafted one, for sure. I think that uh, when writing the quiz, what I found to be the absolute hardest was coming up with the wrong answers. Right. Because it's like you need things that are not so absurdly ridiculous. Yeah. And like there needs to be like reason or potential like Mr. X where you'd be like, oh, you're supposed to think it's this. Right. Yeah, it was. It was fun writing it, but it took longer than you, we would have thought. And it's like, how how difficult do we have to make it, or how difficult is this actually? Right. Sort of things. I mean, some of these feel pretty pretty easy. This one, I would say, a lot of people are flipping a coin. I don't know. Maybe that's a hint. With ten seconds to go, most answers are in. At this point, we've got five seconds to go. Someone says it's pretty obviously a low Well, we'll find out. We will. We will, we will find and out. The answer is Descendium. I am impressed, you guys. That I would are. I am really good. I am really shocked that there was not more. I would have thought it would be an almost 50 50 split between Descendium and Descendo. Me too. Me that too. That is impressive. That would have. I think that there's a chance that depending on the day, that could have tripped me up. Yeah, for sure. Okay, for sure. let's see how everybody did. Declan Math. Wow. Wow. The top five staying very solid right now. Declan Math with. About a 600 point lead over Rachel Claw. So I think, uh, Rachel Claw, you're going to need Declan to just totally just miss one. Yeah, yeah. At this yep. point. All Three right, in a row. Brooke back in the game. Well done, Brooke. Shout out to John Cyrus, Joshua Ward, and I believe there was a third. Bree Baker. Baker. You guys new are new members. members. I want to be sure we try to keep up with giving you guys shout outs. We just have so many screens open. So if we miss you, I'm so sorry. Waiting for loop and spell on peeves. That's just too obvious. Hermione has to use a time turner in order to make it to this many classes. Ooh. Is it 10, 12, 9, or 8? Mm. We actually just made a video all about this very recently. Yeah. So if you're a big SCV viewer, you probably are aware of this. Probably pretty aware. Yeah. That actually, we may have made this quiz as we were making that video. Oh, is that right? I think we were. Mm. I think we were. Okay. In a hot second here. All right. We all whoop. So many, so many just numbers popping up in the comments. So here. many, so many. Oh boy. Dude, so how? What question is this? How far in are we? We are We're over still question over. seventeen because oh, I, I heard myself say question seventeen and I was uh, like, oh, I forgot to make a deal out of it. Oh, uh, that's funny. What type of game show host, host am I? I know. Ugh. Mm. Ugh. Sorry about that, guys. Ben failed you. Not me, though. Five seconds to go here. Looks like all of our answers are in. I feel How good about this do? one. I feel good about this. How did we do? Ah, very good. Very good. We got Not 939 if you guys all. getting that right. Way to go. Let's see how the how the scoreboard did. Oh, Ooh, Denise. Denise, welcome to the conversation. Look at this. Eight players have reached an answer streak of five. Congratulations to you, eight. That means, it must just mean that of everyone playing, though, only eight have gotten the last five in a row. That seems crazy to it me. It does. Obviously, probably these five are among them. I would have to imagine. Indeed. Someone says, would you ever do a meet and greet in Argentina? I mean... Man, I would sure love to. Right? Question number 20. Once finally captured, whose office is Sirius Black locked in while he's at Hogwarts? Who? Is it McGonagall, Flitwick, Snape, or Lupin? We go. This office. <laughs> I forgot to put the apostrophe yeah, S. Yeah, I almost forgot to the answers. I, I, yeah. I did almost forget. I know. I, I actually like started like going into <coughs> the scene in my head. Interesting, interesting. Here we go. The answer is uh yeah, I've seen a lot of Maldivorts. Yeah, Maldivort for mayor. Mal no I, I think Maldivort for mayor for oh, sure. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm not against it. Maybe Maldivort is like Voldemort's kid brother who's kind of annoying <laughs> like hey Tom <laughs> Maldivort here <laughs> reporting for duty <laughs> no not again I thought I 
told you to stay at the house. Oh my gosh. Why? What was the point of buying you that train set? <laughs> The idea of Voldemort being annoyed. I know. Oh, it's so funny. The correct answer is, it's of course, Flitwick. Flitwick. Oh, wow. You guys crushed that one. Over a thousand correct. Well done. Well done, everybody. Absolutely crushed it. Yeah, Voldemort right, loves his train set. There's no doubt Let's about it. Let's see here. Oh, no, no changes here. No, none Back whatsoever. The Claw. Maybe, I feel like the prisoner <laughs> questions have largely been pretty... Pretty obvious. Pretty obvious. Right, you're yeah, yeah, we'll see. Let's see. At the end of Prisoner, ultimately Hermione drops two classes, Divination and, is it Muggle Studies, Arithmancy, Care of Magical Creatures, and Study of Ancient Runes. Or, or Study of Ancient Runes. It's okay. It's okay. We're yeah. still we're still cutting our teeth on this game we show are. thing. Yeah. I mean, presently, I'm not even wearing, like, pants that go with... I'm wearing pants, but not pants that go with my Thank you. My top. <laughs> For clarity, I'm wearing yeah. shorts. Yeah. Uh, Raven Shepherd says that meet in North Carolina would be awesome. Yeah. Uh, fortunately, North Carolina is not terribly far from it us. It is not. So we could probably do North Carolina. We could probably make yeah. it work. No we need uh, the ability to do the, yeah. the event. Yes, fortunately, that, that's, or unfortunately, just large gatherings at all, not so doable. Except in this format, where what do we have? What's our what's our present? Uh, what's, we've got like almost eight thousand people doing this quiz together, which is really fun. I think that's really cool. Good job, you guys. So we have two seconds left. How many people got this right? Muggle studies. You guys are doing great. It is indeed Muggle studies. Very well done. Let's see indeed. if we have any change up in the leaderboard. Oh, we do not. We do not. Declan oh Matt. My Almost a full thousand points up on second place. And you know, if you're Declan, you're just sitting there like so nervous, like, oh my god, dude. If I'm Declan right now, my palms are I'm like sweating, sweating, yes. yeah, and if I'm furiously, right, yes, so like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my gosh. Look at this combo breaker. Three players just dropped their answer streak of 10. Oh no! Oh man, okay, uh -oh. okay. Question number 22. What spell does Professor Lupin use to shoot gum from a keyhole and down Peeves' nose? Mm. Is it ridiculous? Defodio, Wadiwasi, or Glissio? <laughs> oh. I hate this question. Oh man, if you're like a real, like if this is like one of those marquee moments for the J vs. Ben series. It truly is. Yeah. It truly is. This is a question that I think would stump 99% of Harry Potter fans, and I think the 1% who know it are here. I think this is a largely well-known thing because of our quiz about it. You think so? I think we have adjusted the obscurity, the obscurity of this particular, of this particular piece of trivia. Okay. I'm taking okay. credit for it. Sorry, so, world. So, what do you think more than 1,000 people get this right? Yes, I do. No, mm -hmm. not a thousand. I don't think a thousand. I bet more than nine hundred, though. I think I'm more than a thousand. You think more than a thousand? I've got faith okay. in them. I've got faith. All right, in them. we shall see. Someone says Jay's brain is amazing. It is remarkable. <laughs> Thank I you. feel like I feel like you guys. I, oh, it's so frustrating. The answer is Wadi Wasi. You were right. Nailed that, it. that might be the most correctly answered question we've had so far. Other no, than the Apologies Potion. Other than Apologies Potion. All right, yeah, all right. That. And that is such an obscure one. That is. Well done, team. Well, well done. done. I'm not expecting. No changes yeah. on the leaderboard. Declan, you breathe again. You breathe, breathe again. again. He's starting to get a, a handy little lead. Almost a thousand Almost. points up on Rachel Claw. Rachel Claw, though, hanging in there. So is Jackson and White Squirrel and Denise. All right, guys. Question number 23. Who is the guard? Gardener of Voldemort murders at the Riddle House. Is it Jim Mason, Frank Bryce, Bill Pratt, or Tom Bombadil? I tell you who I wish it was. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> this is fantastic. Doran uh, uh, Fewer says, "What's the story behind the towel section?" Uh, never heard that other than here. So oh. the towel section comes from a very maybe a year two video called Year One. Year One. Yeah. Called Forty Two Uses for a Towel. Yes. You made it. I made it. Uh, it is a, the whole video is just a joke from Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy where they say towels are the most useful item in the galaxy and then the number 42 is like the nerd number that's the answer to the ultimate question. Of course, right. we don't know what the question was, but uh, so that was the joke. 42 uses for the most useful thing in the galaxy. If you're watching a YouTube video though, the comments are down below the screen, right? So if you can see the upper half of our body on the screen, 
where our legs are, where we'd be wearing a towel is where the comments are. So that's what we call it, the towel section. That's why, there and it's go. just forever stuck. And it's just been a thing in Super Carlin Brothers. The answer is Frank Bryce, you guys got it right. I love how some people said Tom Bombadil. He is the most useless character from Lord of the Rings. Uh, Bill Pratt was uh, our uncle. Our uncle. Yeah. Shout yes. out to Bill Pratt. Shout out to Bill Pratt. Okay. That's a let's, fun one. <clears throat> let's see how you guys did. Ooh. Oh, Jackson taking that second place spot from Rachel Claw. At this point, I'm very curious to see. Look, they're seven points apart. Ooh. So close. Ooh. Very oh exciting. Boy. Very oh exciting. Boy. Okay, <laughs> let's see here. So up next is question number 24. What is the name of the Crouch family's house elf? Is it Creature? Hokey, Winky, or Dobby? We shall see. We shall see. I, I think, feel like people are going to get this one. I think people will. Yeah, I think, I think so. people will. Yeah. Unless you are a movie fan. Oh, that's true. If you're, if you're only a movie person, you will definitely not get this one. Interestingly, our video editor, Scott, messaged us today about a question related to house elves. Yeah. Where there's a discrepancy because he's only ever watched the movies. Yes. Yeah. And it had to do with the the actual magical like contract between the house elf and their master. Yeah, I thought it was very interesting. It was interesting. Yeah. Lots of mall divorces. Lots of mall divorces. It's always a, always a potential answer. <laughs> always, even you know what? If you don't know, just put mall divorce. Uh, worst case, eventually it will be eventually, right. Right, exactly. What is the funniest not answer from the previous quiz? <laughs> That means somebody, you need to be tuned, you need to be really tuned in. You gotta find a way to make it That's the answer. Right. The answer is Winky. Very That's nicely right. done. You guys everybody. are very good. Absolutely you guys are very good. It. We didn't fool anyone. That was a nice that was a nice little easy one here. Nolan making a comeback with three in a row. row. Way to go, Nolan! Alright, All right. let's see. What is the incantation to cast the dark mark? Is it Morse Mordre? Is it a pair vestigium, a larte a sondier, or talentelegra? You pronounced all of those very well. Thank you. I did not know what they were all going to be. <laughs> so I was sort of really on the on the fly there. On the fly. Yeah. Well, I was very yeah. impressed. Yes, this one. Let's see. There we go. Shaft line together here. I think I think this is another one a lot of people are gonna know. But we'll see. Oh, a lot of people say in Maldivort. Yeah, always sure. a good answer. Always a good answer. Yeah. In fact, if we ever make another quiz, we should just put Maldivort. We should try and make it a five answer so we can just always include that. Always. 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 Yeah. yeah. For sure. Yeah, yeah. Buzzy B! Buzzy B! Yeah, new popcorn culture go live today. Yeah, raise your hand if you have been listening or tuning into the pop. Oh, yeah. If you listen to the pop, put up a hand emoji in the chat. Very curious to see. And I'll high five you, you all as you come up. Individually. There we go. Most I feel like we're getting Mordre. easier as we get into the middle section of the quiz here. Maybe. This one was tricky because I never say Morse Mordre and not the like really loud yell from the movie. Morse where it's like Morse Mordre. And I was like, oh, I have to really rein it in for this answer. Look at the little, you get, give oh, some people boom, some boom, high boom, fives. Boom, there boom, we go. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, white squirrel. Rachel Claw falling down to the fourth position now. Uh-oh. Look at that white squirrel, man. White squirrel. So the Green Mallard Association, the GMA, was named after, or was created because our dad. Look at this. That's amazing. There's so many people listening to the pop. Oh, my God. So many high fives. So many high fives. So many high fives. Holy Ooh. cow, you guys. It hurts. It hurts. Go, 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 Feeling go, go, that go, go, burn. Go. There we go. So the GMA was created. So double. Oh, there we go. Which of the following was not in the maze? Uh oh. A sphinx, acromantulas, blast ended scroots, or a hippogriff? There we go. Oh my gosh, there. Someone did a high foot. A high foot. There you go. Whoa. Whoa. You did a high foot. I did a high foot. You're welcome, person. I got you. Yeah, so what I was going to say, though, is the GMA, because yeah. we have White Squirrel, was based off of our dad when he was a kid, had the Gray Squirrel Society. Yeah. And then we, just, we were just like color animal group name. Color animal group name. Yeah, if you need a name for your friends, that's the way to do it. Just pick color animal group name. I was just talking to Mike, a member of the GMA the other day, and I was like, do you think the fact that we named ourselves something has something to do with the fact that we are still such good friends to this day? Oh, what'd he say? Yes. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> <laughs> All four of us are in town right now. The creation of a name promotes the name itself. Ah, promotes the group itself. Well, I was just trying to... Yeah, I gotcha. Yeah, you know what I was going yeah. for. Thank you for all the hands up, you Look guys. I am fives. blown away. When we started the podcast, I was like, people might not listen to this. 
Oh, the answer is a hippogriff, yes. Uh, it is indeed. Unless inaccurate. you're watching the movie, in which case it's all of the above. Very frustrating. Very frustrating. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, you guys man. all, everybody got that correct. Declan, well, look at that. Our Jamie top five stay the same. Making a comeback with three in a row, and you're up for reading. All right, question 27. Who is the wand maker that made Crumb's wand? Is it Ollivander, Gorgovich, Grindelwald, or Gregorovich? I know the answer. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> here we go, here we go. Listen to it today. Oh, someone said Seamus from Moldavort. Oh, that is the true role it for is. Seamus. It is. People keep saying Tom Riddle. No, no. He needs to be Moldavort. Everyone knows Wrong that Sh Seamus loves train sets as much as you love beanbags. <laughs> I people do not love people need to tweet Seamus about toy train sets. Oh my gosh, that'd be amazing if he just gets a flood of tweets about toy train sets. What is his What is his handle on Twitter? Uh, is like, like Sh Gorman Seamus Fourth. Uh, you know what? Hold on, we'll, we'll figure it we'll out. We'll figure it out. We'll figure. It. Jordan, message it to us so I don't have to look it up. I'll, I'm gonna look it up. There you go. While we While we chat, we have ten seconds. I think I can find it. Oh, there it is. It's the very top tweet. It's just Gorman Seamus. Gorman Seamus. At Gorman Seamus. Okay, people will be sure to tweet him about how much he loves train sets. Uh, yes, be like, oh man, maybe recommend some good train sets to him. I feel like, and, oh! Oh, we okay, got some people okay, with our with Gorgovich. Go Gorgovich is the uh, Chudley Cannons player who was traded for a record fee. Yes. Most number of quaffle drops in a season. Yes, like it seems like those two things don't go hand in hand. I Well, I feel like it's almost like he was, he had too much pressure on him, so he wasn't able to compete. And I he went like, to the Chudley Cannons, so it's just yeah. historically suck. Yeah. It sounds like the Chudley Cannons paid a record fee to get someone who has a record number of quaffle drops. Is how I always read oh, it. Oh, interesting. That's not how I read it. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, let's see here. Question number 28. Who is Fleur's date to the Yule Ball? Mm. Is it Marcus Flint, Justin Finch Fletchley, Roger Davies, or Blaze Zabini? Oh, ho, ho, ho. That Yule Ball. Obviously, we're into the uh, Goblet of Fire questions we now. We are in the Goblet of Fire. You couldn't tell. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yes. Chud the cannons, chud the cannons, boom, boom, boom. We are not pirates. I'm so excited for Seamus to get tweets about train sets. I know, I know, man. Seamus from Aldevort. Here we go. Here we go. Ooh, lots of wrong answers in the comments. And lots of right answers. Someone says snake. Mm -hmm. If there are two Someone people, says dinosaur. That's dinosaur. Yeah. We should have put dinosaur. We in should. There. That would have really Man. tripped people up. I, would be, I wish we could just have like ten answers, and like so many of them could be nonsense. We should no. What we should do in the future is have three, where one of them is just flat out ridiculous. Yeah. Every single time. Yeah. And then it becomes a fun thing for us to be like grated cheese. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Can you just imagine Flair walking around with just a cup of grated cheese? <laughs> this is my day. <laughs> He's great. Oh, or it could be. It could be a literal date. Oh, <laughs> yes. Like that. There we go. Uh, there we go. The uh, answer is Roger Davies. Very well done, everybody. That's a very high score. We're going right to have to make now. this harder next oh, time. Oh, Rachel Claw climbing back into that third spot, hunting down Jackson. Boy, has uh, Declan Math still holding on to about a 900 point lead here. Declan, I, man, you know. You were doing. I would, I would not be. My heart would be pounding. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Because I can hear it from here. I know. We still have over 20 questions to go. Right. We have plenty of quiz left, people. Declan, are you active in the chat right now? Be sure to let us know. I bet he's not. If I was Declan, I would be focused on yeah. nothing. Question number 29. Crumb gets the snitch, but Ireland wins. What was the final score of the 1994 Quidditch World Cup? Bulgaria 300, Ireland 360, Bulgaria 160, Ireland 170, Bulgaria 170, Ireland 180, Bulgaria 150, Ireland 160. Oh, sorry, not sorry. Goodness me, this is like one of those questions. This is a, uh, this one's not easy. This it one is, is not easy. I think we're going to have a very low correct answer score on this one. Even right now, I feel like I know what it is. Me too. I'm like, I'm like trying to rationalize it out in my head, but I am not entirely sure. Yeah, I think I know. I think I know. Yeah. I hope I know. Goodness me. What's the point of even We shall it? see. We shall see. Look at this. So many people like being like, oh my gosh. With 10 seconds left, I feel fine saying there is a there is a way to know what the answers could be. Right. Um, that doesn't help much. 
No, it doesn't help much. No. It doesn't help much. So the correct answer is... is blue! Bulgaria 160, Ireland 170. You guys did mostly get it right, but boy, do we trip up a lot of people on this one. So the big thing here is that uh, that I know that Bulgaria scores one time and Krom catches the snatch. And they only lose by 10. Right. Which to me seems like, dude, give them a little more credit. A little more credit. Like... They, they only needed to score twice more and you would have won by catching the snitch. But things were getting ugly by then. Things were getting ugly by then. Yeah. All right. The thing is, Ireland scored 17 times, which is oh, impressive. All of them got it correct. Wow. Oh my gosh, you guys. Declan Math, Jackson, Rachel Claw, White Squirrel, Denise, bravo. You guys are doing great. You guys are doing great. Absolutely. 55 players have reached an answer streak 10. Wow. Okay, good for you guys. Bravo. Oh, well done. Well done. Well-educated guest. Question 30, this toad face is even worse than Voldemort. Is it Umbridge, 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 or Umbridge? Now, I'm not sure how we... <laughs> Not sure which one's right. I, I, I don't know what happens here. I don't know what happens here. I don't know here. what happens here either. I forgot about this question. I did too. It's supposed I think to be a joke. The original plan for this was slightly different. Yeah. Maybe Jordan weighted it differently. Maybe she did. She's the one who set up the quiz like a hoot. I'm not sure how this is. I'm really going to feel bad if this knocks one of our people off the top. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the answer is, of course, secret answer, Maldivort. Oh, it is, of course. <laughs> it is, of course. <laughs> Little did they know. Little did they know. Oh, boy. Maybe this is fine. This is just chaos in the quiz. You know? It involves a little bit of luck. Oh, boy. How did we do this? Is someone? Are, is it just going to be a, an even twenty-five percent here? I don't Let's know how we here. did it, or how it was weighted, or if we for some reason I feel like. Oh, everyone got it right. Okay, look, see, it's check, 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 check. So Jordan, Excellent. Jordan okay. was on top of it. Everyone gets that one right. Free space on bingo. Good job. Apparently, red was the answer. <laughs> <laughs> the answer that most people went I, I for. I wonder if it's because red sort of like like evokes anger a little bit. Right. Oh, yeah. God. Yeah. Yeah. I was as I was reading that question, okay. I was like, "This is such an easy one. I can't believe we put this in, but it's a joke. It's a joke. It's it a is joke. a joke. Yeah. Okay, very well yeah. done. Well done, everyone. Moving forward, question thirty-one: What are the invisible winged horses that draw the carriages up to the school from the Hogwarts Express? Is it an Abraxan, Festrals, Atheonin, or Granian? What could it be? Athonin? I'm trying to... Athonin. Did I pronounce it correctly? Yeah, I think so. Okay. I don't okay. know how else you'd pronounce it. Ethonin? Ithonin. Granian. Abraxan. Thestrals. Yeah. This one I feel like is going to be uh, over over 1,200 correct. Over 1,200? Over 1,200. I think so. There we go. Someone says, I'm struggling to enter the quiz. Can you help me? At this point, I believe you will be unable to enter I the quiz. I think so. You might just, just have arriving. To, might just have to play along at home. Indeed. If it is any consolation, I don't know that you would be able to catch up with the top five who have consistently gotten every single answer correct. Yes. So, at this point, it's the same as just playing from home anyway. Yes. So yes, indeed. I'm terribly sorry. Terms. We will do more. We will yes. do more. All right. Let's see how many people. Yes. 1,200. Over 1,200 correct. The answer... Is of course Thestrals. Thestrals. There you go. Uh, Bravo. Also, that is my Patronus, in case anybody was wondering. There you go. All righty, let's see how so you guys everyone did. Here, staying nice and even, staying nice and even. All right. They all survived the Quidditch one. Yep. Question 32, what is the name of Hagrid's favorite Thestral? Is it Eupraxia, Tenebris, Hesiod, or Agus? This is... This is another tricky one. This is a tricky this is one. A tricky one. I have yeah. faith in them, though. I, I have think faith so. In them. I bet our top. I'm gonna take my jacket off because it is getting hot in this room. Warm. Warm. Fortunately, Sometimes, I still look pretty you, fancy underneath. Do you guys ever add a B to the end of warm, like warm? Warm. It's, no. It's a little warm. I don't. Oh, sometimes I do. Here we go. And back to death. I like, I think people are like, what? What? What is this question? Absolutely spectacular. There we go. I'm glad. I I have remembered this fact, and there was so many quizzes where I'm like, this is the one. It's going to come up. It's going to come up. We did like a Hagrid quiz. We did like a Forbidden Forest quiz. We did like a Magical Beast quiz, and it didn't come up in any of them. No way in the world would I 
get this just from memory. Yeah. I would with multiple choice. Oh! It is tenebrous! Well over half of you got it wrong, though. Wow! Okay. Excellent. The answer okay. is tenebrous. That is in the book. my special favorite. My special favorite. Tenebrous. The first one he had. It's kind of yep. like how like Buckbeak is his favorite hippogriff, and then all of a sudden there were just no other I know. hippogriffs. They I know. just like went away. I think that's something the movie does right, where they're like, let's just give him the one. Just the one. Ooh, some changing abouts in here. Uh-oh. But Declan Math, staying at the top. He knows his tenebrous. Stay Nate knows it well. Okay, let's see here. Who tells Professor Umbridge about Dumbledore's army? Is it Cho Chang, Pansy Parkinson, Marietta Edgecombe, or Lavender Brown? Mm-hmm. Ho oh, ho. Or Maldivort. Or Maldivort. Always an acceptable Always answer. Always a potential answer. Don't forget, quick reminder, tweet. Gorman Seamus about train sets. About, like, pronto. Like, just, you know, if you've already answered, well, maybe don't close the app, but we'll keep reminding you. He needs to, he needs to have a random surge of <laughs> completely unexplained train content on his Twitter feed. <laughs> well, it must be so late for him, because it's going to happen in the morning, right? It is. It's like, it's, like, I think it's 3 like, a.m. for him right now, I think. Six hours from now, so yeah, maybe maybe like one one twenty two in the morning, That's I think. Right. Um, that's Never know. Maybe he's awake. It's Maldivort. We got nine seconds. It looks like the number of people actively playing seems to be slowly dropping. We're down to about 1280 consistent players. This is just sort of the nature of the game. The nature of the beast. Nature of the beast that is Kahoot. The answer is Marietta Edgecombe. Well done, Boom. everybody. Well uh, the, done. The movie would trick you up because I believe it is Cho in the like movie. Is, I think it is. All right. Let's see how you guys did. Oh, Hermione. Hermione! Wow. Entering onto the scene. There it is. Well done. Welcome to the top five. The high five, as it were. <laughs> Boom. All right. All right. Question 34. Who was Ginny's first boyfriend? And was it Michael Corner, Anthony Goldstein, Dean Thomas, or Marcus Belby? Big emphasis on first. There you go. Here we go. It's a tricky one. It is a tricky it one. It is a tricky one. It is a tricky one. Yeah. 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 All right. Oh, boy. Oh, look. Now, oh, look. Declan has fans. Oh, there's another Declan in there. There's another Declan rooting for Declan in the comments. Man. I like this. I like how there have become, like, 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 uh, almost teams that you're cheering for. I know, right? Like, are you on, are you on Team White Squirrel or are you on Team Declan? I, it's you a know? big question that's been going I around know. the streets. <laughs> I, I mean... But then Hermione is that underdog favorite, you right, know, like you know. coming in from the the eleven slot. People weren't expecting it. I know. This is why I wish we had like a a much longer list. Yeah. To see if you can see like the top twenty, so you can see like what's happening down in those middle ranges there. Because certainly there's more movement in the middle. Certainly. Per certainly. question. I think someone just said I just broke into the top one thousand. So. Oh okay. There we go. Okay. There we go, Michael Corner. You Michael guys got Corner. it. Bravo. Well done. A lot of people did think Dean Thomas. Mm-hmm. Very. That also a boyfriend, just not the first not boyfriend. Not the first boyfriend. That's right. Okay. okay. No changing on the leaderboard though. Hermione sticks around at number five though. Well done. Taylor Kroll is making a comeback with three in a row. Well done, Taylor. Taylor Kroll. Because it's like a cat. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. It feels like there's a way to do that. All right. Question number 35. Which students float a Niffler into Umbridge's office twice? Is it Harry Potter, Fred and George Weasley, Lee Jordan, or Luna Lovegood? Mm. Careful, careful. Careful, careful. Indeed. Yeah. Yeah. Now look, we got some Team Declan people. Jeff Fisher, all right. Electrolyte says, y'all are my favorite YouTubers. Thank oh, you. Oh, thanks so much. Thank thanks you. so much. Someone says Hagrid. Also, don't forget secret answer, Moldavort. Always, always, always a potential always answer. Always available. Indeed. It's going to be really funny if we start making Moldavort jokes inside of our videos. Oh, yeah. Because now, like, this select group of people right. is going to, like, they're going to be, like, the ones who get it. Right. These, like, 7,500, 8,000 people, they will, they're, they're in on the joke. They're in on the gag. They know. They know. We have nine seconds left. Looks like most of our answers are in. We got five seconds to go, 1250 answers. Luna Galton says, we love your channel. Here we go. The answer is, of course, Lee Jordan, although a lot Ooh, of people. Look at this. Look at George Weasley. Wow. 
sneaky, yeah. sneaky. We got you on that one, people. Blimey, that was me. But did we did get? Did we get Declan? Let's see. Let's find Let's out. Let's see. Moment of truth. Moment bombs. of truth. Oh, we didn't, but we did have some changes on the leaderboard there. White Squirrel is gone. Denise, Hermione, and Mel Sherrill. Mel Sherrill, from early on, from has early, clogged her way back in. Clean back into the I game. Said, I said she. I don't know. Has oh, clogged their way back in. There, there, yes, there yes, we there go. we go. Okay, question number 36. What is Hagrid's mother's name? Is it Hyrokin, Friedwolfa, Gerd, or Wilhelmina? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Here we go. Some of these are funny. <laughs> Malden Waldenvort. Very fun, very fun. Declan has not missed a single one thus far. I mean, I guess everyone in the top five must have gotten all of them right so far. I think so. I yeah. think so. I have seen a couple of them where it seemed like the points didn't tally up as long. So oh. I don't know if maybe like it took all of them collectively a little bit longer. Or it's possible that like Declan got it correct, but it not first. But oh, still right. had such a point still lead. Still had a point lead. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. It's also, who knows, it could be possible... You could you could be like playing as a team even. You could be. You know, you, you could, could have a group of people all being like this, this one, this that one. It actually makes me delighted to think about like a group of people all sitting in their living room together. Oh, I hope you know, so. Being like, I hope so. Like team it's it up. It's Harry Potter trivia night in the Super Carlin Brothers channel. All right, looks like we have all of our answers in. How did we do? Ah, very good. You guys got it. The answer is, of course, Fred Wolfa, the giant. I really the wanted. I wanted more people to go Gerd. Gerd. Some Gerd. people did. More people than Hyrokin. Hyrokin. Yeah. Alrighty. Let's see here. How'd you guys do? Oh, Declan climbing into that fifty thousand point range, just about. Oh my gosh! Congratulations. And he has over a thousand point lead now. So, barring a complete miss, Rachel Claw. That's pretty much what you're aiming for, I think. That's what you're aiming gonna, for. You're going to need Declan to just miss. Question 37. What is Professor Snape's mother's name? Is it Elliot Prince, Ellen Prince, Eileen Prince, or Eleanor Prince? Ooh. We have also made a recent video about this. We have. We have so. Indeed. With Seamus. With Seamus. Yeah. Okay. Lover, lover of Lord. trains. Lover of no, known lover of trains. No lover of model toy trains. Huge collection. He's known for it. More He's than almost anything. Right. Especially his love of Toy Story. That's like second to his love of trains. I hope he changes his bio to I love train sets. <laughs> you know he's gonna. Because he used to always be I love Toy Story. Seamus changes his Twitter bio. More than anyone I know. But, like, it's a great effect. I know, yeah. It's a great effect. Oh, my gosh. Uh, all right, let's see here. Oh, I'm boy. seeing a whole bunch of uh, people shouting out their love for Hermione. Oh. Which I continue to stand by yeah. ferociously. Ferocious. Most recently, I think it's <clears throat> the difference in the fact that Ron is like, we need to go after the Hallows, and Hermione is like, we need to go after Horcruxes. And I'm like, I feel like you guys should be on the same page. You guys it's got it. Eileen Prince. Eileen Prince. Eleanor Prince looks like it tripped up some people, but Indeed. not too bad. You guys are doing absolutely fantastic. Certainly Ooh, a didn't bit of trip shifty. up our leaderboard here, but Hermione must have answered a little quicker than the niece. Look at this Hermione, like, coming in right at the end. I know. To challenge the lead. Classic Hermione. Classic Hermione. All right, let's Classic. see Classic. Question 38. Who is Ron's girlfriend? Is it Lilac Brown? Lavender brown, violet cinnamon, or purple brown? I'm sorry. This is definitely just a joke question. I don't anticipate anyone getting it wrong. The answer is, oh, I love them so much. These are such good questions. Oh, boy. Mm. Okay, so uh, question while mm. people are answering here, because I feel like mm. there will be a, a surplus of extra time. Too yeah. many questions so far? Has this felt too long? That would be something to float out there for future. Should we do more like a 30 questioner? Oh, right, yeah. Is it more yeah. fun to just be able to tune in for longer? Yeah, that is a good question. Let, let us know in the comments. I'm sure we'll see. Try and keep track of it. Do you think, are you, are you okay with the length of the quiz thus far? Yes, that's the question for you guys. I like the idea that one of these is her alter ego. <laughs> yes. I have a very clear idea which one of it it is. Oh boy, the answer is definitely Lavender Brown. Only, what, eight people missed it. I have to assume that's misclicks. Uh, the alter ego, of course, of Lavender Brown is none other than Violet Cinnamon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. oh 
Oh my gosh. Oh, look at this though. There was still a change on the leaderboard. Little change, but it just real Denise. close. How far apart are they? Just 16 points. Although Rachel Claw and Declan Math have both clogged into the 50,000s. Well done, well done. Well done, well done. Looks like we people oh mostly saying... Like it at 50. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, a couple people Maybe. being upset they couldn't get in. I know that we're going to try to... Uh, Continue to work out the kinks on making sure people are able to get in. Question sure 39. Will. What organization was Eileen Prince the captain of? Was it the Exploding Snap Club, Potions Club, Gobstones Team, or Wizards Chess Team? What could it be? What could it be? <clears throat> of course, if you were really paying attention, we just told you who uh, Eileen Prince was. Not that I think many of you didn't know. No, yeah. That seemed like yeah. people did a very good job. Yep. <clears throat> Are you guys going to do another round or something? We talked about doing that. Like, maybe we should just do we like could two do rounds of 25 or something so people have a different opportunity to get in. I like that. I like yeah. that. Two rounds of 25 doesn't sound like a bad <coughs> a bad way to go after it. It has. This, I'm having a blast doing this, though. I think you guys... I'm so impressed with you guys' knowledge. I know. I know. I'm going to... I would... The next one's going to be even harder. I'm, going, yeah. I'm coming for I you, think, Declan. Yeah. I think a lot of these... We've, we could definitely go harder. Yeah. 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 We're going to... Sam Bowerman, five dollar super chat there. Thank you, Sam. Sorry, I didn't get to see what it was, but it's all right. We got two seconds left. Eileen Prince was the captain of the Gobstones team, although it tripped up a bunch of people. It did. It did. Potions make sense because it is, in fact, Snape's mother. Yes. Let's see here. How'd you guys do? Uh oh, Hermione. Hermione logging back into third. I saw. I. I. I don't want to say that I'm cheering for anybody in particular, but I do. This Hermione. Uh, bid for the win is a bit of a dark horse, you know? It is. She's She's been climbing up very fast in the past couple of questions, and it's like she's narrowing in on the leaderboard right at the end of the quiz. So I don't I don't know that without a miss, Declan can fall, unless he just is really slow. Question 40, which potion does Slughorn not have on display during his first class? Is it Polyjuice Potion, Amortentia, Veritaserum, or the Draft of Living Dead. Oh boy. Here we go. Will we stump Declan? This is someone, says, someone says Declan has a time turner. Declan has a time yeah. We should have clarified that use of time turners and uh, Felix Felicis were prohibited. That is, that is, yes. yeah. So, not that we can enforce it in any way, but... You oh, know, honor system people. <laughs> honor system. They still have the trace, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. <laughs> or secret answer, the Maldivort potion. The Maldivort. What would it do? <laughs> I don't think it would do it. <laughs> what would the Maldivort potion do? It's like a like a lubricant for the wheels on his model trains. Oh, on his model trains, yeah. You know, like it's how, like, like it's not a potion at all. Yeah, it's not a potion. It's, it's just, just graphite. Like, yeah, right. <laughs> do you remember just, that from the Pinewood Derby? Oh, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. <sighs> Go faster. Oh, Ooh. look at that. People were uh, skipping out on that Polyjuice Potion there. It was, in fact, Polyjuice Potion. Uh, or, I'm no, sorry. It was, it yes, there, that was there. Draco was steals there. the Polyjuice Potion because that's what Crab and Goyle are drinking all year to pose as little girls. That, does, do we see that happen? Is there a moment that you, like, that, like, oh. he, he makes a lunge or something and you're like, ooh, what was he up to? Oh, you know, I don't, I don't. Not, not off the top of my let's head. Let's see how you guys Ooh. did. Oh, no change. No, no changes change. at all. Everyone's <laughs> got it. Well done, well done, well done. All right, let's see here. Question number 41. Is Seamus here? When oh Tom Riddle asks Slughorn about Horcruxes, Slughorn is eating his favorite snack. What is it? Is it pepper imps, nougat chunks, crystallized pineapple, or fizzing whizbees? Let's see. That was one of those where it was hard for me to not oh, say it the way that we like it. to say it. Fizzing Whizbees! Fizzing Whizby! In case you guys have seen uh, The Cursed Child. The Cursed Child. In person. Where Fizzing Whizbees do also come up. They do. Yeah. It is hilarious. It is, it's so funny. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. I think, I think a lot of people are going to know this one. I, is Seamus in here? I just saw a couple people adding him. Oh, that's funny. I wonder if we woke him up. Crystallized. He's like, why is my phone? Let's see. Let's check Twitter. Let's check. Let's see if we've made a change in the world yet. Let's see. I'm going to look him up. Seamus. Okay. 10 seconds left on this one, you guys. No, his bio still says, can I get a soda with that, ma'am? <laughs> I also get that <laughs> reference. Someone said, oh my God, you guys are two different people. 
Correct. The answer is crystallized pineapple. You're quite right. It is my favorite. Yes. Well yeah. done. All right. All right. Let's see. What we got next? Or did the leaderboard change? It did not. not There's Seamus. Hey. <laughs> Why am I getting about shades? <laughs> <laughs> Calm down, Voldemort. <laughs> Seamus uh, from Voldemort, that's amazing. Ma Thank you guys so much for, your, for your tweets. Maldivort, Maldivort. What if Seamus is Declan? That'd be amazing. Question number 42. The Half-Blood Prince adds plenty of his own instruction, but who is the actual author of advanced potion making? Is it Gulliver Pokeby, Miranda Goshawk, Edwardus Lima, or Libatius Borage? Man, I feel like this just came up in one of our other... Or I don't know if... It, I think the, the author of the first year potions book that's what it was up. yep yep yeah oh boy okay is brizzy still in here as well i think I, we saw brizzy floating about a couple of times as oh, well well that's i hope man well if you're watching what's up brizzy hey brizzy i hope you got your shirt seamus we were the reason people are tweeting you about trains is because we just we were just talking about your love of trains to model trains model trains yes and we were just letting the people know how it's on your list of favorite things, Model Trains, Toy Story, uh, Ben Carlin. And, <laughs> uh, Who's your friend that likes to play? Ben Jam, Ben <laughs> Jam. Oh, man. So, that's that's all. We just, I'm sorry if it was like a secret, but, you know, there's nothing to be ashamed of about loving Model Trains. The answer is libaceous borage. Miranda Goshawk got a bunch of people. Wow. What is, she is something. She is something. By Miranda Goshawk. Yeah, she is yeah. something. Um, a libation is a beverage though, so that's, uh, that's the trick. Someone says, how many chuggas do you add before the choo-choo? Oh. Chugga, 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 It does feel like it's the same. There's a certain number. Yeah, okay, let's see how you guys did. We've gone off the, the literal rails I know. Here. Oh, pun intended. Ooh. Here we go. All right, guys, question number 43. We are there. What initials are on the note inside of the fake Horcrux that Harry and Dumbledore collect from the cave? Is it B-I-T, B-U-N, N-I-E, or R-A-B? Oh, I see what happened. I see what's happening here. Mm -hmm. Can anybody spot what we were attempting to do right. with this particular set of answers because there is in fact an Easter egg hidden joke. Within the answers, although because we have the answers randomized. They did not come they out. Did not come, the joke did not really play. It did not play. Yeah, but The point way, is, the point is loves trains. That's, that's the point. <laughs> oh boy. I love yeah, people are getting it. There we go. Yes, people got it. That's amazing. Yeah. Very <laughs> fun. Very fun. <gasps> oh, love of, something about love of beanbag chairs. Jay does love beanbag chairs. Know, you do, though. You know. It's like a long... You're the story. one who owned so many giant ones. I know, but you loved them. <laughs> Why do you think I got so many? It was, to, it was just so to, I'd come over. To impress you. Of course, of course. The answer is R-A-B. The joke was... That if it was uh, in the correct order, it would have said rabbit bunny. Rabbit bunny. Yeah. Uh, well, plenty of people did not need that explanation because <laughs> they did, yeah. in fact, figure Many it out. Many people got it. There we go. Declan knocking on 60,000 points now. We have, what, six questions left, I believe. Yeah, here we go. And Boy, the up, pressure guys. is on, Declan. Question 44. What is the name of the orphanage Tom Riddle is raised at? Is it Gaunt's Orphanage, Smith's Orphanage, Wool's Orphanage, or Gray's Orphanage? Oh, well. I like this one. Me too. Me yeah, too. This is a good one. This is a it good one. is a good one. Miranda Goshawk wrote the Standard Book of Spells. Thank you for pointing that out. <coughs> or was it Maldemort's? Maldevort. Maldevort's. Maldevort's Orphanage. Can you imagine? It actually seems kind of delightful. Maldemort? Pl plenty to play with. Would there be? Tons of activities. So, there'd be lots of trades. We know that. Right. They'd yeah. go on field trips, lots, lots of the underground. Lots of grease potions. <laughs> 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 Maybe it's just it's just boiling like water and it's steam for the steam engine. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Lots of uh, yellow emojis there from somebody. Hi. Baldeforts. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Maldeforts orphanage. All right, we have three seconds left. Did you get it How correct? How did we do? How did we do? It is in fact 
Wolves of Orphanage. I feel like maybe we could have been trickier with answers. Maybe, maybe. One, Smiths and Gaunts weren't weren't that hard. Yeah. Greys was probably the biggest trip up, which it was based on the results there. All right, well done, guys. Um, Declan into the sixty thousand. Stacy Setting. brought R A B my mom's initials as well. This is fun. Hey, hey thanks, Stacey excellent. <clears throat> All right, guys. Question forty-five. What food does Ron's aunt Muriel compare Xenophilius Lovegood to at Bill and Floor's wedding? Is it a pineapple, bananas, scrambled eggs, or an omelet? Oh yes, I like this question a lot. Me too. Someone yeah. just said Ben likes leg warmers. <laughs> Well, that's true. I don't know. Ben Actually, does like leg warmers. In fact, I'm I'm wearing no no leg warmers at all. Look, what are what are your feet if not part of your legs though? Yeah, you know the, what I mean. You're my, wearing stuff on your feet, which is warming your feet, which are part of your legs. Ben loves leg warmers. I don't think we should I think make this ben a thing. Even <laughs> is on the pop admits to hunting down rare leg warmers. No, <laughs> no, <laughs> very. Not a thing, but can Maldivort plan a wedding? No, he cannot, but he is in charge of transportation. That's right. Maldivort is actually the one running the Hogwarts Express. <laughs> He's the conductor. He's the conductor. When Lupin's <laughs> like, I'm going to go have a room with the conductor. That's Maldivort. That's who he's talking That's to. That's who he's talking to. Little known fact. Oh, boy. Oh, we... We did it! I really fooled you guys on this one. I'm so happy about it. Here's the it look. looks like an omelet. It looks like an omelet. Ah, uh, yes. That's the Ophelia's love good. But did we fool Declan? Oh! We fooled some people. Ooh. Not fooled. Not, maybe not fooled. Not, yeah. not fooled. That's not the right word. We're not, we're not pulling the uh, wool's orphanage over anybody's eyes here. <laughs> that's true. That's true. All right. Hermione, Denise, Rachel Claw, and Mel Sherrill. You have four questions left if you want to topple Declan math here. Or... Really, I think what you're hoping for is for uh, for Declan to miss one of these final five. Which is very possible. Very possible. Very Who's possible. to say? Uh, question number 46. Where is Voldemort hiding during the Battle of Hogwarts? Is it at Malfoy Manor, the Shrieking Shack, the Boathouse, or the Hogshead? Mm hmm. I know why this one's tricky as me well. Too. Oh, me too. Oh. Me too. Me too. John Anderson with a little super chat while we wait. Sideways John! Sideways John! Hey, what's up, man? No way! That, so Sideways John was once upon a time uh, on our Google Hangout calls over on Patreon, and he always had his phone sideways. Yes, Sideways he did. John. Helena says, how does Maldivort fly? Well, he doesn't. Maldivort he takes never the train. fly. He takes the train, of course. Because he loves trains. Man. How how a single a love of a single thing can define your life so well. I know, it's so perfect. You like know? there's so many applications. <clears throat> yeah. When trains are your favorite thing, life is easy. <laughs> if only. Seamus gets it. He does. He gets it. <laughs> how many people are oh going to be gosh. tripped up on this one ah, uh, yeah, for we'll find out in eight seconds? The reason that I will say in. at the end of the submission mm -hmm. period because of the movies. Right. Where it is the boathouse. But in the books, it is, in fact, the Shrieking Shack. But the boathouse did trip up a bunch of people. It did. It did. Here we go. Is the Trolley Witch Maldivort? No. The Trolley no. Witch is stupid with her pumpkin pasty grenades. The grenades! Gr the, but they are close friends. They are close friends. Let's be Obviously. clear. Oh! White Squirrel! Coming back in the late... The late hours of the game! Look, up 50 places. Aiden Adder is the highest climber. Wow, well done, Aiden. Man! Look at you, jumping up. All right, let's see how we do here. Question number 47. In the books, who destroys the diadem of Ravenclaw? Oh. Is it Vincent Crabbe, Draco Malfoy, Gregory Goyle, or Hermione Granger? Here we go. Here we go. We were, we were clear on this one. We were clear on In this one. In the books. In the books. Uh-oh, the music just kicked up. Is that because we're in like the final five? The final five now. I feel like people are answering a little bit slower on this one. Maybe they're like, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute, I'll go check. I'll go see. <laughs> Some people are saying Maldivort. <laughs> he tried to run it over. Try to run it over. That would never work. <laughs> Who knows, maybe the maybe the trade is imbued with basilisk venom. It could be, it could be. If it was <clears throat> forged by a goblin, yeah. And, and the and goblin and killed a passing no, basilisk. If the train ran over a passing basilisk's mouth. Yes. Then, then it would be imbued. That'd be amazing. And that would be amazing. Oh. The Hogwarts Express is pretty absent from book seven, isn't it? Mm, I think Luna is taken That's from true. the Hogwarts Express. Yeah, okay. 
Vincent Crab. Wow, you guys did really good. You guys it's did really, really a coin well. flip between Crab and Goyle. It is. It is. But did we trick any of our top five right here? Let's see. No, we did not. No, we, we, you know what? I'm honestly, I think at the point, I'm not even sure if Declan missed the next three. He could lose. Lose. I know. Yeah. He's in a he's in a rather commanding lead. Yeah, that's where we're at right now. All right. Like let's Hermione, see here. Denise, Rachel, and White Squirrel. Let's Moving see. Moving on to <coughs> question number forty-eight, which is not a tale of Beetle the Bard. The Witch in the Wheezing Willow, The Wizard on the Hopping Pot, The Tale of the Three Brothers, The Fountain of Fair Fortune. Here we go. This is, uh, I'm impressed with our answers. Me too. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. Me too. Here we go. Multiple <laughs> Return. <laughs> That's right. Also not a tale of Beetle the Bard. <laughs> it, it is not, but it is a classic children's tale. Yeah. Mumbo for mayor. Okay. Oh, someone's cheering on for White Squirrel. Boy, it is. Uh, if you're, I mean, you're gonna have to be in the second spot. You're gonna have to get all of them right immediately, and you probably need Declan to miss a few. Declan. Which who knows? I would not want to go. I would not want a J versus Ben versus Declan. Ooh, maybe not. Sounds like. The boy knows his stuff. Sounds like it. Although they do a multiple choice. That's true. That's you know, true. We can't count that out. Oh boy. Oh, the witch in the wheezing willow. You guys did really good. That is very that good. Was. Was very, very well done. Yeah. All right. Let's see how you guys did here. Let's see how we do. All right. No changes at all. Same Z. We're into the last two questions, I believe. I know. This is going to be question 49. Question 49. Which of the following survives the flight of the seven potters without injury? Is it Mad Eye Moody, George Weasley, Fred Weasley, or Hedwig? Ooh. That was a loop noise. Ooh. <laughs> Luke has the best noises. He does. He does. My son Luke, that is. He doesn't really make that sound as much anymore, sadly. But anyway, here we go, here we go. So <laughs> <laughs> the answer to everything is Maldivort in some way. <coughs> hmm. Excuse me. I'm out of drink. As such, I'm starting to lose my voice. Someone's got a lot of talking today. That's a cruel question. <laughs> Runal Waslib. Also a good answer. Also a good answer. Too soon. Too soon. I love it. Who are they too sooning, though? Who are they too sooning? Answer is Fred! It's Fred! Yeah, yeah. Of course, uh, Mad Eye and Hedwig both die, and George sustains an injury to his ear. And he is now holy. Holy. Get it, Fred? Holy. Pathetic. Pathetic. All right, guys. Oh, Ooh, and there oh, is Rose, Rose Granger. Granger. Climbing back in, knocking White Squirrel off, I think. Goodness me. Okay, and this is question 50 this right here, it. guys. For all the keeps. Who kills Bellatrix Lestrange? Is it Ginny Weasley, Molly Weasley, Luna Lovegood, or Hermione Granger? Bada boom, 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 boom. I feel like we're ending on kind of a kind of a nice, easy one. A nice, easy one. Yeah. A nice, easy one. I think so. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. This has been a very fun quiz. It has been. Yes, it has. Very happy with the way this is going down. I like Great. the idea of doing two times 25 question quizzes yeah. next week to allow the opportunity for more folks to be engaged. Right, because at this point, we've reached a point now where like the leader is like uncatchable. Just it about, is. It is. Know? Yes, indeed. Yeah. So, unfortunate, but we're learning. We're learning, you guys. We're doing our absolute best to make it as fun and engaging as possible for as many people. Molly wobbles. Molly wobbles. So embarrassing. It's a little Looks embarrassing. like all of our answers are in. And the answer is, of course, Molly wobbles. Yeah, Molly we didn't wobbles. fool anyone on that one. Definitely not. There we go. And our winner is the podium. Number three, Denise. Number two, Hermione. Wow. And number one, we all know him. Declan Math. Declan Math. Well done. Let's see. How did you guys do? Let us know in the comments. I see a couple of us in the top 300. Way to go. 
Runner ups. Oh, they disappeared. Very see, well yeah. done, everybody. Very impressed. Very impressed. Okay. Oh. Did we get a text from Jordan? Yes, we did. Okay, so guys, if you are sure to use the hashtag who with the Carlins, if you would like to show uh, or share a screenshot of where you scored, we will be picking 10 random winners to receive just a random piece of SCB merch there you go. as well. So the, the top five, are, uh, Declan will be receiving all four of the animal foil shirts. The uh, uh, two through five will be receiving the house of their choice. Yes. And uh, 10 others who share using the hashtag Kahoot with the Carlins uh, will also be randomly selected to receive something cool. Something cool. From the uh, the old Super Carlin Brothers goodie basket. Indeed. So it's a, it's a huge basket. It's a huge basket. All right. Awesome. So if we hit uh, get feedback, do we get to look at do we get to do we get to get feedback? A view report. Maybe we should hit save results first. Save results. All right. Well, here let's let's flip back over to full cam. There we hey go. guys, we're back. All right. We're full back here seeing us in the in the full glory of it. There oh, it is. Okay. we're gonna bring back our comment section here. I saw a bunch of super chats flying through Goodness while we were me. doing the quiz. So we're gonna go as speed round horrific as we possibly can. Someone says, is this a regular thing? At the very least, we will be doing it again. It is, this is the first time thing we've done the quiz. It is the fourth week in a row we are doing the hangout. Yes, yes. yes. Uh, so thank you all of you guys for tuning in. It has been a spectacular turnout this evening. Yeah. Um, someone says 45 out of 50, boy! Congratulations, what? that's amazing. Okay, so we're gonna try to get oh, through done. as many of these super tests as we possibly can. Uh, let's see here. Uh, uh, there we are, right there. Right here? Yeah. Hey, oh, this is from Charlotte Murtroid. Murtroid. Great last name. Mm -hmm. Hey, brother, I can't wait for the trivia quiz. Looking, You guys are looking amazing. Uh, I was part of your YouTube chat earlier today. Oh, oh hey. Charlotte M, oh, Charlotte. I remember you from earlier. That's amazing. Uh, Mike Rosen says, hey, brother. Oh, no, look at that. But like a quick one. Hey, brother. Oh, hey, brother. Hey, brother. Uh, quick question. What is the role of the wand in magic? Are there different types of wandless magic across the world? There is wandless magic. The the primary culture that does it is Native Americans in uh, America. In, Amer in America. In America. Um, um, the, the thing, Ollivander says you could channel your magical energy through anything, but the best results are through a wand. So I assume you could pick up like a pencil and use it as a wand. It just wouldn't do very much. It would not, yeah, like it wouldn't be a very successful <clears throat> use yeah. of your magic. And I bet you'd have to be very well acquainted with that pencil in order to get anything to happen. Right. Um, let's see here. Taylor Lackey says, you have been one of the only good things about quarantine. Uh, thank you. Thanks, oh my Taylor. gosh, Taylor. Thank you so much. Um, let's see here. Fabia, maybe? Yes. Abonti says, hey guys, always wanted to know your thoughts about Harry Potter ambient music. I used to listen to a different common room every day while studying. Love oh, it. Oh, that's well, very cool. Where were we where we were listening to lots of continuous Harry Potter music? I feel like... Well, like the Wizarding World of Harry Potter at like Universal. They just constantly play they it. They do have it constantly playing. Yeah. I, is that, could it possibly be that I was thinking of something so obvious? I feel like we were somewhere else. But maybe not. Maybe not. I don't love, know. I love all the Harry Potter music. Yeah. Um, actually, I was just watching a very interesting uh, video about the Marauders music in particular and the way that it was uh, composed. Really? As like a nod to all of like Fred and George, like it was like using all of the like a similar note structure. Oh. I don't speak music, but that was my understanding of it. Uh, Rink GMM216 says, you guys help me be proud to be a Slytherin. I've practically gone full out. That's amazing. Yeah. You want to? Uh, Charlotte Bates, go Hufflepuffs, my baby walk today. Oh, you were on the chat earlier as well, or at least someone on the Google Nope, Hangout. same person. Yep, absolutely. Okay. Congratulations, Charlotte. Yeah, well done to child. Uh, Udub Huskies says, could I get y'all to say happy birthday to my daughter? Probably. She's only one, but hopefully I'll be able to share her this when she's older. Her name is Calliope Pernod. Oh, boy. Oh, wait. Calliope. Calliope. Calliope, happy birthday! Happy birthday, Calliope. Everybody say happy birthday to Calliope in the chat. There we go. Uh, let's see here. Phil D. Assault is a new member. Thank you so much. Flaming Pulsar says you guys are looking super fly today, by the way. Thank you. Thank you very much. This is my favorite velvet jacket <coughs> that I can never wear. So, so I was excited now we have a good wear. reason. Yeah, but I'm also wearing shorts and work boots underneath this. So, so you're all over um, the place. I'm all over the place. Swarm Trek says, hello, how are you guys? Thanks for asking. So, My voice is starting to get a little gone. I've been talking for about four hours today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> we yeah. had our uh, our Patreon uh, hangout today, 
prior to this. We did. Uh, Ray LaFour is a new member. Chris uh, Waite says, you are amazing. With a fun little dancing pair. It reminds me a lot of the jelly beans from Inside Out. Oh, it does. Uh, R. James says, looking spiffy Triple in these jackets. Yeah. Man, we should wear jackets Maybe more Maybe we often. should. Jeez. Shoot dang. Wow, thank hey, you. is shoot dang something that I say in particular? Oh, I don't know. I think so. Okay. Shoot dang. I, I, so many people have like picked it up around me that I oh. can't tell if I was the originator <coughs> or if, oh. if maybe I just copied it from someone You know, else. once upon a time, I thought you were the originator of Awesome Sauce. Awesome Sauce. Yeah, I don't know if that was a Ben Carlin original or if you heard it, but to me, you came up with it. Love it. Love it. Who knows? Who's to say? <laughs> I will never reveal my secret. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. Timothy is a new member. Thank you so much. Brandon Martin says, since this may come up next, next week, can I just say I have no idea why Cho Chang forgives her friend for portraying her in the DA. Oh, Cho Chang and her friendship. She's mm, not very Marietta. good at picking friends. No, no, she's really not. Seems I, like she could have brought a lot of other, she seems like she's constantly surrounded by a bunch of friends. And yes. somehow she brings the worst one to the meeting. Yeah, yeah. I also sort of love how Hermione's curse or Jinx works so well. Right. And it's never lifted. I know. It is like she still has the word sneak on her face. Outstanding. It's really mean. Outstanding. Well, no, it is <coughs> incredibly mean, but yeah. also, yeah. But also, she turned it, them into Umbridge, so. Right. Yeah. 500 Monkeys Plays, the new member. Thank you so much. Uh, Ingvild Svendsrud. Svendsrud. Sven Svendsrud. That's the one. He says, hello, I've watched you guys for the longest time. I love you guys. Oh, thanks so much. Sakura Golden says, hola, love you guys. Daniel Inez says, have you ever heard the narwhal song? You mean narwhals, narwhals, narwhals swimming through the, the ocean, ocean, causing yes. a commotion. Because they are so awesome. awesome. It's a great song. Great. And now it's stuck in my head for the rest of the weekend. Thank you for that. Uh, Swarm tracks. I've watched your videos for so long. I think the second or third year. Oh my goodness. So before even fandom stuff. Wow, that's commitment. Man. Uh, Kara Ebelling says, Book 7, why did Snape have to tell Voldemort the Order was getting hairy a week later? Snape had killed Dumbledore and was not in the Order anymore. Why did <clears throat> Snape have to tell Voldemort the Order was getting hairy a week later? Oh, he's still in the Order. He's just not, like, at the Order. Is he? Why does Snape have... He doesn't... He's not... His information is not coming from the Order, right? Why did Snape have to tell Voldemort the Order was getting hairy a week later? I think maybe he could have just been operating under the same idea that he also has informants because he's the one who confunds Mundungus to suggest the... The seven potters. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not... I'll have to think about that more. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Oh, my last name is pronounced Deverve. X oh, Deverve. Maddie Deverve. Okay. And everyone messes it up, so no worries. I never expect anyone to get it right, but glad to hear you guys had a good week. Oh, thanks, Maddie. Thanks for the follow-up for letting us know. I, there's nothing worse than not being able to pronounce someone's name. Yeah. Um, Almeida's Army is a new member. Thank you so much. Sarah says, Why do you think Phineas Nigellus pretended to not know the sword could destroy Horcruxes? He would have heard Harry and Dumbledore talking about it in Half-Blood Prince. Well, that's a good question. I don't know. Huh. Because he says the last I saw it was when Dumbledore used it to crack open a ring. Yeah. So I guess maybe he doesn't know what Horcruxes are. But he would have heard. You're he would right. have seen the entire exchange. Yeah, yeah, that seems like a problem. It does. We'll think about that some more as well. Michael Clifford says, If Fox came to Harry in Chamber of Secrets because he heard the Deluminator, how does he give Neville the sorting hat in Deathly Hallows when Ron had the Deluminator at the time? Oh, Fox doesn't give Neville the sorting hat. Voldemort <laughs> summons the sorting hat from Dumbledore's office and puts it on Neville's head because he's going to burn the sorting hat and eliminate sorting, and everyone can just be in Slytherin. Right. So it's not Fox. Catches it on fire on his head. Yes. So, like, could have been dangerous. I'm sure very hot. Yeah. Surprise um, sure. Yeah, well, that would have been the movie. Yeah. yeah. Dark Flame 94. Hey, brothers. Love the jackets. But, Jay, why no emerald? Why no emerald? Why no emerald? We should get you a green velvet jacket. Oh, I'm totally in. Yes. For some reason, it just seems like more fitting to you. Okay. I'm in. I like it. I although, just don't have one. Although, does this make me seem Gryffindorish now? Now that I, I think know. about that out loud? Maybe. Um, let's see here. Sippy M is a new member. Thank you so much. Uh, Lena B, thanks for the theories. Three months in Denmark. You're welcome. Uh, Najem, oh, I cannot spell your name, Na Najma Tahimba, I love you guys so much. Thank you for keeping my childhood faves alive, bringing so much wonder and excitement back into our adulthood. Oh, you're welcome. And it's we, I mean, we love it too. <laughs> we do, we do. Yep. Joshua Ward says, I actually thought narwhals were fake until watching your videos and getting curious enough to research the more you know. Which are the best movies? You know what's so funny about narwhals? I'm still not sure. 
that's the thing. It's like, you can research them, but you have to wonder, are the researchers in on the conspiracy? National Geographic is really just pranking. I know. That's the thing. You have to remember thing about National Geographic is that they are just, they're really pranking everyone with the, the narwhals. They, I mean, they have forever been known for their sense of humor. Right? That's let's not, for, let's not forget. about National Geographic. See, like, you gotta tune into National Geographic for the jokes. <laughs> uh, Josh Jones, who was also on our call earlier, says, Hey, brother, it's been theorized that a wizard could become a mythical beast when becoming an animagus. If this were the case, do you think the witch or wizard could use part of their animagus form as a wand core? Mm. Man, always with the cool questions from Josh Jones. Thank you for the interesting thought. Um, I, th I think so. I mean, I don't think that if you're an animagus of a mythical beast that you are not not truly that mythical beast. Right. I would think that would work. And someone was pointing this out the other day. Like, could wizards just use their own hair since they are also sort of magical, like, creatures? Well, I guess so. I mean, like, uh, Vila hair. Vila hair used. works, and apparently humans can reproduce with Vila's. Right. Right? Yeah, so. like, they're not, yeah. So, so I would... I would think yes. I think you, if you could turn into a magical beast, you could use the hair from that beast to. Also, if you were just Molly Weasley, you could just use that. What? Just Molly Weasley, like Molly Weasley's hair. Yeah. Could be a core. Oh sure. Right. Like that's like, what we're saying. Yeah. So either. Even if you turn into a non-magical beast, you could use the hair from that animal. Right. Because right. it's got some magical power. Just probably not as powerful. Right. Let's see here. Uh, Knox Kitten says hello from New Zealand. Hello, New Zealand. Lord Hadrick says just wanted to say you guys are the best. My wife always goes nuts. Always, always my super. wife goes nuts. Always Super Carlin Brothers. Aww. Love it. Uh, Drace90, working in a Tom Riddle series. Suggestions. Maldivort. Maldivort, for sure. As much Maldivort and his love right. of trains as right. humanly possible. Exactly. There we go. Uh, Crash, Bang69, excited for the night. Guys, you guys are my favorite YouTubers. Love from Scotland. Oh, what's up, Scotland? Jessica Sanders says, Have you read Snape, a definitive reading by Laurie Kim? Great stuff for your Dumbledore's plan videos. Ooh, Ooh no. no, but I'll check that out. You shall. Happily Ever After Abby says, I can help you get trivia going for more people. I host a Disney one every week. Let me know and I'll DM or email you. Ha, oh, that sounds great. Okay. Uh, we'll try to figure that out. Happily Ever Ever After uh, Happily Ever after. Abby. Abby. I got it. You I'm got like it. running out Probably of brain space yes. for my ability to speak out loud. <laughs> Iris Hunting says, thanks for being so awesome. Thank you for being so awesome, Iris. Mary Ann, Dumbledore told Hagrid to give Harry the flute? I yes. Th I think possibly, yeah. yeah. I think that was the one he knew yeah. he was having the most trouble with. Right. Which is kind of amazing because Fluffy's been there since the beginning. Right. So it's like that was the first obstacle mm -hmm. and the hardest. Yeah, definitely think Hagrid was giving Harry the flute on purpose from Dumbledore. Uh, X Grey Moon XX. Hello, just wanted to say you guys are by far my favorite HP lore channel on YouTube. Thanks for the quarantine entertainment. You're welcome. Hope you're enjoying it. Oh, it's uh, it's definitely one of the things I like. I really like about our jobs that we're able to hopefully provide a lot of entertainment for people during the during the quarantine. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. I just jumped around a little there bit. We go. Love watching your videos. Has been keeping entertaining while I'm not able to do much else out here in Cali. Sarah Same. Garrett. That, that's been Sentiment. the thing, is we've been really wanting to make, like, longer content, and I feel yeah. like that's part of, like, Dumbledore's big plan, is that's, like, a 20-minute episode, then we've been doing, like, the J versus Ben yeah, more like often. Yeah, yesterday was, like, the 30-minute, we're doing the live streams, so it's all, it's all just so we can hopefully just entertain as, uh, as many people for as long a time as possible. Absolutely. Hopefully give you a brief reprieve from um, the... Uh, Abby boredom. Carlton said the stream works better on my phone, so going to try and play the quiz on my laptop. Think it might work better the other way around. Yeah, I think oh, that, the, these are well, these are still from way earlier. They the are. Yeah. Kayla May, I always wondered: is the night bus a port key, or is Ernie operating the whole bus, or is it enchanted some other way? Thoughts? I. That's interesting. Like because there's almost something to be said for like Fred and George create the hats that make like your head invisibility. And it's like yeah. an extension of the uh, disillusionment charm. Yeah. And I kind of like the thought that there's some enchantment that allows the whole thing to apparate. That's yeah. kind of interesting. Or, like, the port key seems like another possible way. It does. But then it, like, has times where it's just driving around and, like, barns are jumping out of the way, which is another weird scene in the books where you're like, are you suggesting that, like, all inanimate objects have some sort of magical life to them that can dodge this bus? Or is the bus emanating magic that brings these things to life that's probably more it i think yeah i think that's probably it and i think that the night bus is probably a very powerful uh magically powerful creation mm -hmm. like it was i think it's rather significant that it's so capable 
Probably. In the way that it can move in such a high Because there's like only the one. It's right. not like there's a fleet of night buses. V the night bus. Right. Yep. Uh, let's see here. Uh, f uh, Fabia? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, says, guys, what do you think of a Hufflepuff with a snake Patronus? I've never heard of anyone else except me. P.S. Love you guys. I think it sounds awesome. Nothing wrong with that at all. Badgers do eat snakes. That's so, true. You know, it's kind of like a, like a necessary food source for you Hufflepuffs. Right. Um, let's see here. Adir, Adir Man, will you guys ever make a video about things you wish made the movies that didn't? Gosh, we should. We should. You guys should, uh, you guys should... You guys do mention in theory vids, but it would be nice to have a series. Yeah, let me tell you, I can tell you my short list. Sphinx, The Last Ended Scroot, Acromantulas, The Golden Mist. So you had issues with Goblet, Boy, specifically the third task. Specifically the maze really let me down in so many ways. I think the thing that I, that they included that I wish they didn't was uh, the freeze frame on Harry at the end of Prisoner of Azkaban. Oh, boy. The yeah. whoosh. That, yeah, I, I don't like that at all. Although we talked to Scott about that, and that's like one of his favorite moments from the movie. I know, which so. I do trust Scott's opinion, so it kind of makes me think we're wrong. Well, um, let's see here. Tes Tesla one says, I just want to say a huge thank you. You guys have helped me through mental health oh. and get back into reading uh, by rereading Harry Potter for the first time or yeah. reading Harry Potter for the first time. Uh, Cat Knox says, Jay, I want to tell you that my five-year-old is for sure the one Jay fan you talk about. Yes! She loves you and says you're smart just like her. Oh! Oh, thanks. Thanks so much, five-year-old. She sounds adorable. You sound great. Don, Ben, I know you are a Hermione fan, but what do you think of Luna and Harry? Oh, are you a Larry fan? Uh, Larry! Um, <laughs> I don't totally hate it. I don't totally hate it. I, I think it's kind of fun. Yeah. Uh, but I also feel like Luna is the one who gets it in such a different way, like where he invites her to Slughorn's party, and she's like, "I would love to go to Slughorn's party with you as friends." Yeah. Like, like it's like the the notion that they're going as friends is it's, like part of yeah the because she is so embracing the friendship that she has right. with these people. Right. Um. She's just happy to build that friendship more. I like I like Ron and Luna though. I like Ron and Luna because yeah. I do think that Hermione is consistently annoyed with Luna, but Ron like. She grows on him very quickly. Luna is almost never annoyed by Ron. Right. She's like, he's very rude sometimes, but very funny. So would you call that Runa or Lawn? Uh, Runa. <laughs> Runa? Okay, I love it. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Diana says, Hufflepuffs are the party people eating and drinking. They love do it. have literal barrels of wine next to their common room, do they not? They might. They yeah, might. they do, because if you get, well, mm, no, our theory was that it's vinegar, because if you get the password wrong, aren't you, like, doused in the vinegar? Oh, right, But our right. theory is that the cup could turn vinegar to wine. Right. That's it. That's okay. it. I remember. That was a shameless video. Let's see here. Uh, Roseanne says, thank you for having these live streams and all the Harry Potter content. They're helping you through this quarantine. Also, I got the set of shirts the day you released <coughs> them before they got sold out. That's awesome. Bravo. Uh, the shirts are still for we're like second pre-sale order. If you second pre-sale, and yeah. the first batch will be shipped the first week of June, hopefully. Hopefully, the, as long as uh, our warehouse is able to do so. Uh, Kevin McCain says, "Greetings, male sibling." Uh, Julia, who was once from Texas, says, "Y'all are awesome people. I have been a fan for quite a few years. I run a Harry Potter monthly trivia for Potterless. If y'all ever need help writing these, oh, that's so fun." Kevin McCain, who also knows Julia, that's incredible. Wow, it's the smallest of worlds. Thank you for the for the super chat. Uh, Dalton Boggs says, hi guys, could you wish my wife a happy one year anniversary? Her name is Carrie Boggs. She's a Hufflepuff and loves you guys. Oh, happy anniversary to Dalton and Carrie. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah, so huge shout out to Carrie. That's amazing. Arctic Foxy, hi Jay. Ben, are you wearing Ron's dress robes? Well, no. Not enough lace. I severed it off. A little severed <laughs> charm. Uh, I like this jacket. Uh, let's see here. Dan Davis says, hey guys, thanks for the entertainment. Gryffindor. Um, Gryffindor! I wonder if that was a question relevant to 6.26 p.m. today. I don't know. Uh, Necromancer4267 says, why do you think Harry can touch Horcruxes without damaging them like he damages Voldemort? And why could his soul enter Harry's when the protection was up? Congratulations on the marriages and babies. Uh, I think he can touch them because it's the, it's just the container. It's not like, like the soul, it's like, because they're the reverse of human beings. Right. Right. So it's, yeah, it's, they're just a container for the soul. If he was touching, maybe, yeah, maybe if Harry could just touch the souls, maybe that would have destroyed them. Oh, interesting. I wonder. Of course, you can't get to them. That's sort of the problem. You can't, like, pierce your way down to them. But. Interesting. I, I, like, I, would, I would buy that if Harry could touch the piece of soul. 
Like if Harry could have But I feel like touched the only way Nagini, to... you'd think that would be the same as him touching Quirrell. I don't know, because like Nagini is the container. But Quirrell was a container. Okay, that's an interesting thought. I'll, I'll, Does yeah. Nagini touch his bare skin ever? Yeah, in Godric's Hollow. But is she just like, she just be touching his clothes though, you know? It is winter. It is Christmas Day. Yeah, so he, so he is wearing. pretty bundled up. Yeah. Ooh. Mm, I think Harry should, I think Nagini should suffer the same way Quirrell does when no, Harry. No, but so Nagini's made after Voldemort has used Harry's blood to return. No. No, you're made, right, you're right. No, no she's made with Frank Bryce. You're right, you're right, you're right, right. I'm sorry. Okay, let's move on. Uh, let's see here. Teresa said, or Teresa, maybe? Thank you guys so much for these live streams. It's so late here in Europe, but it's so worth it. Have you ever thought about a meetup in Europe? We have thought about it so many, many times. times. Uh, eventually we will do it. Uh, I have some cool ideas that I would love to uh, eventually execute, but it would take some time. Also, make sure you talk to the people at Summer in the City. Yes, if, you, if Summer in the City is ever like, hey, who should we invite? And you are in the UK and you would like for us to come, then say us, because that does actually help. It does help. Uh, same and is true for VidCon. And we we have talked to Tom, who runs Summer in the City. And yes. He's like, we'd love to have you guys. So just some gentle reminders. Some gentle reminders. You know, anyway. Uh, Darkflame94 says, hey, brothers, the game broke, wouldn't let a good number of us in. Uh, did an infinite name check screen. Oh, no, I'm so sorry to see that, Darkflame. Uh, I do think that there's going to be a bit of a jam, probably as it gets very close to that max yep. number, yep. Um, which is a bit of a problem. So uh, we will have to continue to troubleshoot and hopefully find better ways to get more people into the games. Uh, Rook Cove says, my daughter and I love to watch your show together. Oh, I love it when people watch together. I know, as like fun. a family, that's really cool. Uh, my, oh, this, is, this must have been when we launched the, yeah, we're, we're only at 6.30 in Super Chat time. And this is when we launched the the game. I know, let's uh, see here. Let's see. Whoop. Uh, S. Marie says, much love to you guys. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, we got a bunch of new members. Samantha Lack Soprano, Brie Baker, Joshua Ward, John Cyrus. Uh, question from Fax. But, oh, no, no, this is people talking about the quiz itself. Oh, I Ready love that. Loop and spell. Yep, you were right. I think yep. he said that about three questions ahead of time. That's perfect. Nice. Uh, Dark One Productions. Love the vids. Inspired me to read all the books finally. Oh, I'm glad. I love it. I mean, it, it'd be so fun to be able to read the books for the first time again. I know. I missed that. All right. Drew G says, hey, brother, here in Fredericksburg, Fredericksburg, Virginia. Love you guys. Class has finally got, or finally got out of class and into the stream. Stay safe. You guys have made this quarantine easier to handle. That's oh, so glad cool. to hear it. Thank you so much. Uh, Sydney Ferrance is a new member. Thank you so much, uh, Sydney. James the Sheriff Dixon says wanted to say I do ma bad movie review bad movie reviews among other things. Uh, you're one of the few YouTube YouTubers. Um, why I started my channel. Why I started oh, my channel. Well, that's so cool. That's cool. Oh my gosh. Best of luck to you. Uh, uh, <laughs> James Camera. Why do you guys make me so happy? It's strange. Couldn't tell you. I, it's <laughs> lost on me. Fine, yeah. I'm glad we do though. Uh, let's see here. Sydney Ferrance. Hey guys, I just started watching your videos when you posted the first Pixar theory. Uh, which is each of your favorite book of the series? Oh man, I think probably still Deathly Hallows. My me. favorite book is Half-Blood Prince. Mm, um, also good. Yep. I think I, I have said this a few times recently, but Deathly Hallows is not even my number two. Oh, it's Goblet. Yes. Goblet. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. 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 Um, let's see here. The Skeptical Pizza, not here. Draco Volpis. I'm so sad YouTube crashed at question 20. I got it back for 21 and then 22 com Kahoot completely crashed and it was all the questions out of the books. I just read three and four. Oh, oh no! no! I'm Bummer. so sorry to hear that. Um, although uh, Declan was pretty much on freaking fire. On, commanding lead. Um, let's see here. Yeah, <laughs> Seamus, there we go. Why am I getting about trains? Don't forget, um, please sweet Seamus about his love of trains. Uh, Declan O'Hagan, I wonder if this is the the, the Declan, says, Loving Mean Bags is nothing to be ashamed of, Jay. Oh. I mean, it's nothing to be ashamed of. I'm just, if, I, if I loved them, that'd be fine. I just don't. Let's see here. I think we've actually caught up with some of these that we've seen on the actual stream. That's good. Um, here we go. Nikki Goodbread, who do you think refilled the potion protecting the locket after Regulus drank it? Valdi was so sure the locket was secure as of the Deathly Hallows, so in theory, nobody had gone back until Dumbledore and Harry. Mm, I've, always, I've always thought it was just like a re, like self-refilling sort That's, of thing. 
that is sort of the same thought that I would have that like the potion is meant to prevent you pretty much from being successful and after your death it would just be prepared for the next yeah failed attempt is yeah uh, the way that I've seen it Stacy brought how are Beth Nick Nate Luke how are Alice Chewy Indy much love to your family uh, you are my favorite form of entertainment oh they are Luke, Luke is doing great he's talking so much more every single day he's getting very good at shooting baskets which is impressive for a two-year-old um and nick and nate i just every night i just pray they sleep a little bit longer <laughs> there you go and uh alice uh indy and chewy are doing absolutely fantastic i wonder if they're tuned in right now she said she was going to so hi alice if you're watching yeah uh let's see here what else do we have uh saber 82 what chapter do you think alan rickman would have read for harry potter at home event uh, while I have you here, what is your favorite chapter of Harry Potter? I've never thought about it down to chapters. Um, what of the first book would be the best Snape chapter to read? Maybe the, the his first Quidditch match, where like Snape is actively oh. like yeah. protecting him. Or maybe like through the trap door, like when they do the um, potions logic puzzle. Yeah. Yeah, those would be good ones. The one that I would love to see is not from uh, Philosopher's Stone, but rather Half Blood Prince, where he tells Harry he is the pl or he is uh, the Half Blood Prince. Yeah, that would mm. be cool. Yeah, that'd be a good yeah. one. Like hear that, Alan Rickman say it, like, oh man, that's awesome. So if Half Blood Prince is your favorite book, then do you think is like the Lightning Struck Tower your favorite chapter? It's certainly up there. It's certainly up there. Um, <clears throat> there's a line from Dumbledore, I think, as they're leaving the cave where Harry says, like, you're going to be okay, and Dumbledore says, I know I am. I'm with you. Oh. And that's, like, one of those, like... Whew. Maybe that's, like, the cave. I think that's the cave. I think it's the cave. That's yeah. what I said. Yeah, okay. I can't remember. Yeah. Um, see. I'm going to try and look up where we're going. Someone says, can we have a meet and greet in Pennsylvania? It is close to us. It's kind of like our hat here in Virginia, so maybe. Um... Whenever the world opens back up. Alicia Bannister says, How does Hagrid know where to find Harry after the attack of the Potters if the house was under the Fidelius charm? Uh, Fidelius charm should have broken, right? Yeah. Um, so I think that's why. Mason Britt, Snape had to give Voldemort the true date of Harry's removal from Privet Drive because if he gave false information after having been so well informed before then, it would have been suspicious. And don't be suspicious. Don't, don't be, be suspicious. suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Anybody else watching TikTok for the first time in their life? Or just Parks and Rec again? Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Uh, someone says, you should put a you should put Maldivort on a t-shirt sending big hugs. It's 2.04 a.m. in South uh. Africa, and I'm not missing this funness for the world. So... Mom. Currently, our mom works for the local SPCA, and they currently have a live auction going on for a trip to South Africa. Which oh, wow. I am currently winning. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah. So I find out tomorrow. So oh, I was good like, luck. Yeah. And I was like, man, maybe we need to do a South Africa meetup. Maybe. Um, <laughs> You're going to be there. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> well, how often is that going to happen? Um, uh, Kimbit47 says, Do you think Fluffy being the first obstacle is represent representation for Hagrid? I do. Yeah. Uh, absolutely. Let's see here. Uh, uh, someone says, Dono Desi says, Night Bus equals Zowu. Ooh. That's pretty cool. Not, maybe it's like a transfigured Zowu. That's pretty cool. That'd be pretty cool. Kind of like the opposite, not even the opposite of an animagus, but like an animal that can transform into an object. Well, they do that in Transfiguration all the time. True. Right? Yeah. Ooh, I like that. I very much like that. That's pretty cool. That's pretty good. That's I wonder pretty if there's good. anything else Zowu-ness about it. What else? Oh, that's really, that's, it's fun. Spot on. Good thought. Spot on. Okay, uh, let's see what else we got here. Chapter you 8 is literally New called Orleans the or Baton Rouge. God, I would love to go to New Orleans. Yeah, I would do some crawdads real hard. Dude, I want to go and eat all of the food in New Orleans. Yes. Everything, yeah. Uh, Mar uh, Margot de Villa says Chapter oh. 8 is literally called the Potions Master. That's not I'm a bad thinking, one. I'm thinking Chapter 8 is good for yeah. old Alan Rickman yeah, if, if available. Yeah, good. Um, although, of course, not available. Um, let's see here. Layla Whitaker says, at the end of uh, FP5, we see an or an or Harry pull his head out of the pensive, having just watched all of Newt's memories. It could happen. Oh, oh, oh whoa. Say. So, like, Harry's watching it all. Oh, like unfold. it's all for Harry. Uh, so it's, like, foreshadowing for, like, a new story. That'd be it's interesting. It's like Harry's needing to learn about Newt. About Newt. Ooh, that'd be interesting. That would be very interesting. Mm. Um, if you had to choose between Marvel or Harry Potter, what would you choose? Mm, Harry Potter. 
Oh, yeah, me too. Uh, James, the Sheriff Dixon, said, I'm the one you met with the hand of the king at the one uh, VidCon last year, if you remember. I do remember that. Ah, James, the Sheriff Dixon. Um, what? Someone says, Dark One Production says, what tier of Patreon do you think is the best to sign up for? Uh, want to support more, join in on more stuff with you guys. I think the $5 tier is probably the best. You get At $3, you get access to our Discord, Discord server, yeah. which is very active, lots of people. It's just a good community. Uh, but five, we do uh, bloops and uh, show after the show. Typically, right now we're not doing the show after the show because right. of quarantine. But well, we are doing this. We are doing this. Yeah. Um, but typically, you would get the show after the show, which is basically Jay and I reflecting on how we came up with that video, the difficulties we ran into in writing that video, yeah, and sort of just like how we genuinely felt about it uh, yeah. as an executed finished product. Yeah. So If you want to be particularly more involved in stuff, then uh, the quizmaster question. I think that's the twenty-five dollar level. Um, the quiz master tier is where you get to like help vote on what questions get into the quizzes and submit your own questions to be in the quizzes. Right. Yep. Exactly. Yeah. So there we go. There oh my go. gosh, you guys! I think well, we're all I caught think up. We are finally caught up. About twenty minutes over on time. So I think we're pretty much about to call it for the evening. But thank you all so much for hanging out with us. Um, we will definitely do another quiz. Possibly. Possibly next week. Possibly next week. We'll have to. We'll have to we'll continue to, uh, to figure it out. Gotta this one. Write the questions now. This then. one we had. Yeah, written. So we have to build another one by yeah. next week. Um, someone just said, "Have you ever considered another fandom? If so, which one?" Well, we just heard that Percy Jackson is going to be coming to Disney Plus, which is the most compelling argument anybody has made so far for us to cover Percy I Jackson know. stuff. I'm not promising it. I'm not but either. It seems like it became more plausible. Though also, live action. Avatar The Last Airbender eventually coming to Netflix as a series. So I would also consider that at some point. Possibly. What's that? Avatar The Last Airbender oh, yes, as a yes, live yes, yes. action series coming to Netflix. So I was reading the question from Mason Britt who basically is asking if the Pensieve has already been firmly established, why didn't Dumbledore pull the memory of Voldemort's return from Harry's mind and show it to Fudge? <sighs> well, memories can be altered. And I don't think that would have even convinced Fudge. I, I think you're right. Also, really probably a very personal memory to ask Harry for. Not that maybe he wouldn't have done it. I don't know like what the process is like. Or actually, they never. you never get to feel, hear anyone describe what it feels like right. or anything like that. Also, the only two people that... It's either Dumbledore pulling memories, so I guess he would be capable of doing it because he has, but yeah. Slughorn is also like a, a rather... Uh, proficient yeah. wizard to do it himself. Snape does it. Snape does it, who's also a rather proficient yeah. wizard. Yep. Um, okay, guys, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for tuning in. You guys have been absolutely spectacular. Congratulations to Declan for that ferocious win. Also to Hermione, Denise, Rachel Claw, uh, and Rose Granger. Uh, you guys will all be getting uh, little awards. Uh, don't forget to use the hashtag Kahoot with the Carlins if you guys want to share anything to do with the stream tonight. We will be selecting 10 people just to receive some type of Super Carlin Brothers merch from our goodie bag. Uh, so you can be sure to tag us in any of those things as well, if it's Instagram, Twitter, whatever the sort. Uh, and otherwise, guys, until next week, thank you so much for all of your support. We do appreciate it. Bye! Bye! All right. Make sure we hit six.